Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Goblets and Gaze. This is Season 3, Episode 34, I believe? I think it's 34. No, it's actually 35, because I just finished editing at 33. Oh! Uh, it is 35. Holy uh, shit! Yep. Uh, I am Aubrey, I am your GM, I use she, her pronouns. I will toss it over to my players to introduce themselves, who they are, who they're playing, and answer tonight's question. Tonight's question is, what is your character's perception of redemption? Uh, and, you know, let's change things up this week. We'll start with you, Tick. Oh god, the one time I don't think of an answer to the question, you call me up first. Okay. Um, <laughs> hi, everybody. I'm Tick. I use he, she, they pronouns, and I am playing Mero, uh, a resident dirt monk that has a lot more fake connections than they thought. I didn't think of an answer to this question, but because now I'm going first for once, I can, <laughs> I can just say, just looks at Dumisa. That, that entire plot line but also, I guess, just realizing what you did was wrong and being like, I'm going to fix it. But just also just gestures to Dumisa, gestures to this entire seven foot woman of a redemption arc right here. Like, yeah, there we go. Just Will Smithing at her. There we go. That's the answer. I'm second today. Hello, I am Sparlock. I play, I use he, him pronouns and play Groon, who uses she, her pronouns. Um, and Groon is very confused about her perception of redemption right now because she had told herself this story about, you know, you do good and you get blessed with fire. But then apparently that's not right. So uh, she's trying to figure some some things out. Oh, shit, that's me. Hello, I am Dusty. I use they, he pronouns. And I am playing Joanna Sanchez, mom from Mexico. Um, who uses she, her pronouns. Um, as far as like redemption. See... She doesn't know Doomy that well, so she can't just point at Doomy. Um, her thing of redemption is kind of eh, eh. It, she's a very much of the mind that you can't be redeemed for some things are that um, it can happen. But if it's like really, really bad, it usually involves self-sacrifice. That's not pertinent to her story at all. I don't know why you're bringing that up. Hello, hello. My name is Alyssa. My pronouns are they, them. And I play Tempson Trevino, a wizard who uses she, they pronouns. E for Tempson, I think that redemption is very much going back and doing the things that you didn't manage to do hundreds of years ago. For no particular reason not a specific example hi i'm maki i play Australia bashar chloris both of our pronouns are she her and she is our quadruple bard princess dragon summoner who needs more sleep dates with her girlfriend and to actually break her father's curse i'm but like, um, redemption what is your redemption, perception, of redemption? perception of redemption um i think well one yeah She's dating redemption right now. Yep. Um, and and uh, she also happens to have a father who is redemption right now. So I think um, Astraea's perception of redemption has been completely unchanged in the matter of you need to earn it. You can't just expect people to forgive you or to think, okay, fine. Sure, you said you're sorry. That fixes everything when it doesn't. You have to work towards it. You may be working towards it for the rest of your life, but you you need to, or else you just you just don't deserve it. And that is that is her perception of it. And uh, unfortunately, Ferris uh, could not make it this week, so uh, Dumisa will just be off doing another bird watching competition as this goes on. 
But uh, we do have a special guest. Special guest, introduce yourself. Tell us who you are uh, and, uh, you know, who you are, where people can find you on the internet, and who you're playing. Oh, shit. That's me. Uh, that is hi. Uh, I'm Gwen, uh, also known as Glitchy Pixie on the internet. Uh, you can find me at glitchy underscore pixie at uh, twitter.com or glitchypixie.com. Uh, I do things. And uh, I am reprising my role as Marjorie Theodora. Um, we both use she, her pronouns and uh, excited to be here. Yes. Oh, uh, and question. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, the perception. Uh, yeah, for redemption. Wow, what a question. Um, Marjorie sees that as something that she's seen a lot of people uh, get killed over. So she thinks it's sometimes not worth it, but thinks that there has to be true change for redemption to happen. True, actual, to the core change. But I don't think she knows what that looks like. Fair. Is she but... okay? <laughs> no. Well, you don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that yeah. yet. <laughs> um, so yes. Rolling quickly through news, um, you know, hey, yeah, do you like dice? Everyone likes dice. Buy dice from adventuredice.ca with our code goblets to save 10%. Uh, some great dice on there, and I cannot wait to actually get some for myself. I have a some sets that I'm looking at. Uh, and Wayward Arcadium is, there's, Wayward Arcadium is probably in its uh, season break, mid-season break, or it's break between its seasons right now. Uh, so go watch all the VODs and listen to the podcast. It is a great show, and oh my god, I I don't know how this season is going to end, and I'm oh, scared. I'm so scared. Let us know what you think about the ending, because yeah. we don't know how it's going to end. <laughs> yeah, we're scared. We, we don't know how it's going to end. Um, and Bring Your Own Mech, still doing its thing out in space with mechs. And anybody else who has things they want to talk about, we can talk about them now. Yeah. Clever Corvus, a city that never dies, but you know who does die? I don't know, Mero. But Mero's not in. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mero's not in that podcast. But you know who is me? I'm in that podcast. I play Darling. Go listen to it. Have a good time. Have a sad time. I think all all the sad, really sad episodes are are out right now, or at least by now. So like, go, 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 listen, cry, be sad. It's okay. Um, I think that's it for me. Cool. Uh, other than just, you know, art, your standard note of uh, commission your artists. Commission Aki, commission Tick, uh, and all of that for uh, some wonderful, wonderful art. Wait, Gwen. Gwen, you Gwen, draw. Yes. Gwen, do Gwen. you have commissions? I, uh, yeah, I also do that. Oh my do gosh, I draw, I write, I do so many things. Mm-hmm. But you can yes. check it on the website. Yes. Just, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Give Gwen your money. Mm-hmm. It'll be in the description down below. Go check do out it. the website. <laughs> Give Gwen your fucking money. <laughs> also, can I Our... add one? Can I add one more thing? I yes. do draw furries, but I do also make enamel pins. So if you need that type of merch for your podcast, just just hit me up. You know, I usually Ooh. do furries, but if you want, like, I don't know, one of your characters or something, you want like pins to distribute. Everyone loves pins. Everyone loves shiny metal. So just just come contact mm-hmm. me. Yep, yep, yep. Maybe sometime in the future, goblets and gaze pins. Yeah. Um. Future idea, but also tick. What happened last week? God, give me five seconds because I can't remember what happened this morning. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it was not. It was theft, but it was the. It was the theft. Okay, so I was like, it's not theft. We did that like the session before, but I'm like, no, wait, we did theft twice in a row. This was the premediated theft. So we mm-hmm. did premediated theft for the first part of this session. We had a painting to steal. We had a, a script to follow. Our wonderful L was like, we got a plan, and also so many cats, so many cats. I I wish we could adopt all of them, but alas, this is not cat adopting. This is not Nekuatsume. I can't take all the cats, but um. We all went and we stole a painting from a rich guy 
uh, that has some very big significance. Our wonderful bard and like most of the party was doing a good job distracting the guards. Like, hey, look at me. I'm very good at music and also very sexy. Hi, I'm great. And everyone's like, yeah, that's true. We'll, we'll look. Uh, so I was like, nice. Got it. Uh, also created an invisible like wall or curtain. I think it was a curtain. Curtain. Yes, curtain. An invisible curtain. So like Joe, Joe. Uh, Anna? Milf. Joanna, yes. I every day I forget Joanna's name. <laughs> don't oh, my know why. fucking god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your name in here is like from the other one shot. I was like, that's not correct. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. It's I not Sace. I don't, I don't think. <laughs> Let me just change that really quick. I don't think Sace would have gone a lot smoothly. I think they just cock a gun and be like, all right, this is a. This is this this, is a, this, this is a hold up. Yeah, Joanna and Mero and L all climbed through the window and uh, kind of, you know, snuck around, took out some guards non-lethally, as you do, uh, put them in the closet for our wonderful heteros and helmets episode that we need to do at some point, it seems. <laughs> and we went and broke into the, uh, the safe. We all had a mind communication spell, so we could all just think to each other and we would, like, receive the thoughts. We found the painting, which was uh, Karia and Rin, which I was correct. <laughs> I think most of us were correct, but I was correct. And uh, we stole it, as crime would do. Uh, we took it back to, uh, I guess, Elle's hideout, and we figured out, hey, Elle's hire was... Don't know the name, but it's the same person who wrote the book in Obara about, like, her being there. And I'm like, damn, you guys Odette. take notes. Odette, Odette yes. Odette, Od yeah. Odette. And Odette was like, damn, can you bring me this painting? And Elle's like, okay. Uh, I'll do that. I think we're gonna leave a little bit later after we rehome all of these cats because that's now our new mini plot arc of pawning cats off to rich people, which is yep. a strange job actually. <laughs> which honestly, just pulling out a cat from your briefcase and going, "Hey, rich person, you want this? It's very cute." is a very fun job to have. But we eventually decided our next sales would be towards Refus and that secret dragon island that has come up at our plot, which is like free dragons. But first half was that. Second half was a wonderful date where um, Dumisa and Estrella got to go be very, very gay at, I believe, Roller Rink? It was, it was yep. a Roller Rink and Skate Park, and I took Rosalite to one of them, and they went to the other one. I think Skate were, Park. Okay. I took Rosalite to the Skate Park to do some sick tricks while Estrella and Dumisa got to do roller you skating. Did a kickflip? Yeah. <laughs> Just calling out, do a kickflip. Rose like, does a kickflip with like all four of her feet. And Sharon was like, yes, my daughter. I'm so proud of her. Uh, they had a lot of very nice conversations. One of which to be was like, I always wanted to be like a dad at some point. I want like 37 kids. And Australia looking at her plans to adopt 38 dragons. Do you have room for one more? Uh, it was very sweet and very homoerotic. Uh, and it was cute. Okay, I, I want to just want to go back and give him a hug. They uh, got a nice meal mm. afterwards as well. I remember because I got I think both <clears throat> light cheese fries. Uh, but as this was happening, the milfs had a discussion about emotions and feelings, and Tamson being kind of traumatized and taking things a bit too <laughs> like not too seriously, but just being a bit self destructive in her uh, in her path of bringing solitude to her so i'm forgetting the i'm forgetting the words but tamson needs therapy is the best way to say it <laughs> honestly it's okay joanna thinks she's doing the right things and now she doesn't have to have guilt about ripping the worlds apart it's fine yeah. no you need therapy you need so much there's so much therapy needed in this group and honestly i i just <laughs> therapy between sessions i need i need luck just to come kick down the door now and drag all of you clowns to therapy uh but uh, after that, went back to the uh, house after the nice date. I got the bone necklace for Estrella, and I gave her the bone necklace, and she was like, dang, I have to do something in return, but, like, clothing shopping at some point. I'm going to make you look cute. And Meryl's like, yes, I love looking cute. And uh, now Estrella has a nice bone. This is how you get your friends to take bones, everyone. Take notes. You disguise them as jewelry. <laughs> the bones spread. <laughs> but... With all of that said and done, 
Australia has a wonderful party to go to, and I'm sure it's a lot of fun. That's for you guys to watch and me to not know anything about and just have to live with that. I literally told you what happened the day of recording because I, I know I could no, not I handle know. it. I know. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to say that I knew. <laughs> it, the episode's out by now. Yeah, bitches know. know, bitches don't know. Okay, yeah. so I know what happened through specifically Aki's point of view, which was a great point of view. Uh, all of you guys... I'm the bitch that doesn't know. I'm sorry, Joanna. You're not going <laughs> to know what happened. <laughs> but I... Joanna doesn't pure... know shit. <laughs> Joanna knows one thing. One, this team needs therapy. Two, how to be a MILF. Three... <laughs> Wait, no, that's it. One only, thing. no, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Joanna only know very few things, like hot chip, hot, and hot lie. chip, and lie, lie, but not how to get back home. Guard. <laughs> Incapacitate guard, bully a tropa to get her back home. Yeah. We open the Feywild, and Joanna just grabs a tropa by the throat, and it's like, "Send me home." <laughs> okay. Um. Are you? If you want to say what happened at the party, feel free. Because. Mm. Okay, yeah. um, I think I think actually Aki should because while I know what happened, I know what happened in the form of a recap. And making a recap on a recap is not that easy. So I'm gonna pass. Actually, if our guest wants to, they can. But one of you two probably should because you were there for it. If Gwen wants to, I don't mind. Like, I mean, I could. Yeah, I mean, you're. I mean, it's not like we have you for a limited amount of time, and so we need to milk the most out of you. <laughs> well, uh, last when Marjorie made contact with um, uh, Astrea, um, she was with uh, uh. uh We'll say eccentric individuals. Um, yeah. And that she had met recently. Um, and uh, she very much needed to attend a very uh, important party uh, that she was not invited to, uh, much to her shock and disdain. Um, and in order to do that, uh, there was word that there was a uh, princess in town. And perhaps there would be some uh, persuasion that can be done to gain the favor and invitation. Um, and uh, through uh, a series of, we'll call them performances, uh, we were able to grab Estrella's attention and win uh, some, you know, uh, it was like a plus, how many of us were there? Four, five situation? Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, a handful, a plus a handful, um, and uh, in 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 doing so, um, Marjorie uh, realized that she actually knew Estrella, um, and just doesn't remember. But because of her glasses of sociability, she knows that she knows them for some reason. So uh, they had a talk, and. Uh, Marjorie found out that there are some gaps in her memory and life, uh, and whatever happened wiped it all. And she doesn't remember, but she does remember that she was in Cressa, and she does remember magic and fine dining and breathing. And that's kind of where she left off. Well, she left off, um... Um, you smooched getting the, a really, the Harvard, yes. I will say. Y yes, she, she, yes, she did. Um, I'll be Woods. <laughs> did you say Harvard? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Harvard okay. Canon. Just making sure I heard that right, and it wasn't like Harvard or something. Nope, nope, Harvard. Small, um, small kingdom. Nation in, um, Crest, not Crest, sorry, all the time. Yep. Very oh, small. it's in Osheim. Yeah, very, very, Oh, very so small. Tamsin may have some rivalry with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was, there was that. It, speaking of rivalry, there was also a mending of a broken relationship. But hey, you can mm. listen to that episode to find that out. Uh, yeah, that's what happened. And Marjorie yeah. is going to set out to try to find her memory. Yeah. 
Well, uh, since uh, I will start things off with uh, after most of those things have happened at the party, because I believe that Astraea still had a few things that she wanted to accomplish. Yes. Um, I am also hot chip. Mm -hmm. Um, do, 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 do. I'm sorry, I'm looking to, to where I made that tiny list. Okay, yeah, so once, um, Heron and, um, the, the good lady, 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 lady Barlow? Barlow, yep. Barlow, okay, are, are done the oil thing. <laughs> um, I will promptly uh -huh. have someone else knock on the door, because I don't trust that, um, and double check <laughs> that they're done with the oil thing. <laughs> And when the coast, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about the oil thing. When the coast is, is, is clear, it's good. I'm giving mm -hmm. the okay. They're done. Mm -hmm. Yep. And dressed. And yep. there's no oil. <laughs> no more. None no of more. that. None of that. <laughs> no more oil. Yep. I will, I will enter and go. Yep. So, um, Sorry for being um, whisked away like that. Uh, it's it's no problem at all, uh, my dear. Uh, Lady Barlow says, you know, she's like standing, adjusting, and making sure her dress is properly. Uh, Heron, like his, be very much the D, the V in his outfit seems to be a little bit deeper, but you know. He, Kind of just like lounging back in a chair right now. Um, I was wondering if you would you would know any um. Oh, I'm just gonna stop being polite. Any like rich bitches that would be interested in trade with um Cressa or Vlogos in this case. Um, you know, got to strengthen those bonds through capitalism. Yes, yes, it does appear to make the world go round. Um, well... I Wait, do we know that the world is round yet? Yes. Is Cyrene round, Aubrey? <laughs> Cyrene is round. Cyrene is a globe. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I know the map on our VTT is flat, but you, you know you can just sail one way. Yeah, you're but, just gonna uh, end yeah up... but we didn't make Cyrene. For all we know, you would, could have made it square shaped. <laughs> oh my! It was like the box light was in a box. That's a square. Wait, wait, hold on. It could be that one meme where it's like dinosaur shaped Earth. <laughs> no, no, Cyrene is flat, and it's held up by a giant goblin. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, it's it's a globe. Uh, it could be a globe that's held up by a goblin, but it's a globe. Okay, uh, wait, Aubrey. Oh, it's held up by something. I see. Yeah. Aubrey, uh, does this mean the underworld's also a globe? Are they all yes. globes? Okay, they're all globes. We are just. Everybody knows that this entire vast universe is just a cluster of spheres. Yep. <laughs> orb. The orb. orb. The orb. <laughs> Um, but yes, Lady Barlow says uh, she will give you the names of many merchants and people like that that are at the party, and she will give you a little bit of blackmail on each one as well. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I guess she likes you. Heron has said many great things about you. Awesome. This is why you bring a simp to the party. Yes. Um, and then I'll go, can I interest you in some cats? Help them get the cats. <laughs> Cat. She looks a little confused. So you see, I uh, while uh, venturing out onto this lovely place, and not your place. I mean, like g the general city. Uh, I found a uh, a lot of cats, stray cats, like like an unnecessary amount of them in one area, you know. And they don't, they don't exactly have anywhere to go, and I don't want to, you know, leave them. But I can't take all of them either. There's, there's so many cats. Like, you could open up a cat cafe. Helps people with the depression and shit. But, like, 
there's just so many cats and I don't know what to do with them. So would you like some cats? Yes, sure. I, I mean, I can always have, uh, always have a need of cats to, you know, keep my house free of mice. They are quite nice to pet. Okay, yeah, but this is like a whole bunch of them. I you know, like I, I could take three or four off your hands. Awesome. And do you know any other lonely rich people? I know so many lonely rich people. Okay, that's amazing because I would, I would like you, you. I give all four for free. Okay, you, I, your pick too. But for them, you, we could, we could split this shit fucking fifty fifty. Actually, no, let me be realistic. More like 60-40. More like 65-35. Reasonable. Because... Uh, I can just give you... I will give you the names of only people that I am sure wouldn't mind having a friend. So, Aubrey, I think I have connections. <laughs> yeah. I have connections somewhere. I, I, I don't know where to look for it right now. Um, but, yeah, just... just when we make a profit, just drop me a certain amount that's going into the party funds. I will. Oh yeah, I'll let Heron pick out a free cat too. Mm, yes. I think he needs a couple. Yes, he will take those. Uh, he will take those back to uh, take the few, a few of them, probably like two at least, back to Lagos. They're gonna be the world's most pampered cats. Yes. I think that's it. <laughs> I got the cat thing solved. Mm. I've got the potential trade shit solved. Yeah. Um, I think that's that was realistically it. Yeah. Because I'm also getting blackmailed too. I'm good. Unless um, any, did anyone in the party want any specific information? Not that I can think of. Unless you can somehow get details on who the fuck is making all these pirate paintings of my mom. <laughs> but otherwise, it's nothing, really. Anyone else want anything? No, thank you. Nothing comes to mind. Okay, then I think we're good. Um, unless I was told anything specific else to get, I think we're like, good, good. Yeah. I don't think there's anything. Um, did you want to have any more conversations with, uh, Marjorie? Uh. Well, quick. as long as Marjorie's done sucking face, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, like, hold on, what? Enough time. Look, I had to. I left you. I left you with the princess of Harvard for a reason, so I wouldn't mm. be like the third, or whatever. It's not even a wheel. This is like a just a boat, and I'm not on it, and I don't want to swim. So, when you're when you're done and you look bored enough, that is when I'll probably stick my head in and be like, Marjorie, are you good? Are you are you done? Are you? I think I think after uh, like a while, as the, 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 the night's gone on a bit, um, you'll eventually find her on her own. Um, and uh, if you call out to her or anything, uh, she will quickly begin to press a digitate uh, lipstick marks off of her. Oh, oh, you. I will say nothing of this because I didn't see shit. And if I don't see shit, I can't say shit. And I didn't do shit. Um, so, we did talk about your um, fuzzy memory issues, yes? Right. Um, d yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Fucking. Mm. Yeah, wow. Where am I? Yes. Um. <coughs> Right. Um, yeah, that, that, that you you explained that there was uh, like a couple of months where time stopped. Uh, so there's that gap. But then I also just don't remember anything prior. So 
Um, oh, so it's a gap with like a bigger gap. Right. I don't really know what happened. Uh, like, like on, like I don't even remember you. I, I, I there, there was I. My magic is telling me that I have crossed your path before, but I don't know the context, and um, I just. I really don't know what to do. The only things that I have are the things that I have on me, which is, um, you know, my my spellbook, my my staff, my hat, and and also this, the, this book, um, as you'll take out, uh, uh, a old looking, leather bound uh book, uh, and it's stamped with a lock and key. Um, and she just, like, opens it, <laughs> um, and she kind of, like, around, uh, just to see if anyone's, like, eavesdropping. Mm. Uh, and then says, um, I, this isn't my spell book, I don't know what it is. It's definitely magical or something, but the pages are blank. I can't figure it out. Um, I... You know, it's kind of been a side project along with them. Uh, it's doing... the memory thing, yeah. Uh, right. I mean, well, you know, my first... <laughs> what I've been doing is, you know, I, I have been managing, uh, you know, adventurers, monster hunters, you know, just to make... Uh, you know, just to, to get my name out there just so people know me. And if anyone remembers me, they'd be like, oh, oh my gosh, you I don't know, you know, just like a coincidence, somebody... Prospect, nothing. I'm getting nothing. I got nothing from that. Um, and uh, meanwhile, I mean, I'm trying to figure this out. Yeah, I mean, I've been trying. I really have been trying. I pat your shoulder because I don't. I don't think we're that friendly yet. So there, there. <laughs> you okay. are. Hmm? Sorry. Very kind. Just, I like you. I like. I don't know you. Like you don't know me. Um, you really don't have to help. Well, let's just say I should um, help regardless, because I mean, like the mem memory gap for two month thing, um, that is, it's not my fault, <laughs> but I am related to the person whose fault it, it, it is. And so, like, I know he would have a very bad time with it. <sighs> Because his whole life sucks, so I don't mind taking this part and helping him with that. And two, I currently travel with, and it's been like months with like all of them, almost a year with half of them, but I currently travel with so much problems. I love them so much. They're all so problem. They're all filled with so many problems. I I think it would take a small team of, of like therapists to help. And even then, that's not that that is that's just the mental stuff, you know? That's just the psychological stuff. It's oh, do, you, do you also manage cell swords or Oh yes, I managed I managed <laughs> I I managed <laughs> <laughs> Think of us as a band of unnecessary mercenaries, um, and and just a bunch of misplaced motherfuckers, you know. I know the type. Oh yeah, um, but yeah, just all of that, all of that, like a bag of holding could not hold our baggage, our collective baggage. We would be two, but like in a nice way, um. But yeah, okay, your book. Ooh, Aubrey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. This is a blank book? Uh, yeah, these, if you look through it, there does not appear to be anything on any of the pages. Can I vibe check it? Uh, what would you like to do? Detect magic, arcana, occultism? Um, I could do arcana or... Um, I do have, I think, read aura, but that just tells me if it's mm. magical. Oh, excuse me, and 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 uh, like Marjorie already says, mm. said it's magical, so I don't think I need that. Yeah. Yeah. 
If you want to give me either an Arcana or a Cultism check, uh, see if you know anything about this. Uh, Read Aura will still give you some information because I think it also gives you the School of Magic. Um, could I do Read Aura and the Arcana check, or yeah, do I? You do. Check? You do them both. Okay, cool. Then I'll read Aura first. I did roll for my Arcana check, though, so that's mm. a 37. 37? Um, yeah, I rolled high. Mm. Yeah. Um, and read Aura at this... Well, actually, heightening doesn't matter unless it's multiple objects, but yeah, it's uh, mm-hmm. it would give me the, the school of magic and if it's an illusion or not. Uh, no illusion, uh, and the school of magic is... Uh, you're getting a lot of divination from this book. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, 37 was my arcana. 37, um, it's not a spell book. You do know that. But this book does have some powerful magics contained within it. You're not sure what it is. Um, and that the symbol that is embossed on it, you feel like you've read something about it somewhere before. But it's it's like on the tip of your tongue, and you can't remember where. Uh, well, one divination for sure. Um, and and two, it's not a spell book, but it does have spells in it. I I do have one good magic bitch in my in my band of travelers. Um, so maybe if you want to come over um same uh, tavern as usual but like i don't know let's do it tomorrow or something i, I don't know maybe everyone's asleep right now <laughs> um late yeah it's late that's what i thought um i could um ask them to look over it and help yeah if they if uh if they're willing yeah um we can we can try for that. Yeah, in the morning, definitely, because I need uh, to drink so much water um, and probably sleep. How, how much water do you need? I say as I almost ominously go into my sleeve. How much water do you need? <laughs> I... Enough to make sure I don't have a hangover in the morning? Why? Would you say you need an endless supply of water? I start pulling out a decanter from my that, sleep. That. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was pretty good with Arcana. I think she corrected <laughs> us. Go, no, no, no. Uh, Princess Postrea, um, that's so generous of you. Um, I will be fine, though. Um, uh, but um, I-, I can meet up with you tomorrow. Um, and, you know, if you'd like to go over this, then uh, I-, I won't stop you. Awesome, awesome. I can also, again, attempt to rummage through your head. With concern, enough of the memory stuff. Let's revisit that tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. Tomorrow, all of this tomorrow. This is not a good... I... Look. I'm so tired. I have... I, I just know that Heron is not, um... Sober. And... I'm pretty sure I have to take that bitch home. And he's, like, over six feet tall or something. You, I'm not that tall. Yeah, no, that's, like, um, more than double my height. What? Who is he to you? Is that your... Uh, that's uh, my simp. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I've had plenty mm-hmm. of those. I get it. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, no. We're not, we're not, we're just friends. We're just, like, besties or whatever. I say Dumber. besties with the, with the mm-hmm. hand gesture, you know, the nail thing, the gay thing. Best. <laughs> yep. Somewhere off in the distance, you just hear Heron go, Oh, stray. Ah. Mm, I must go attend to the needs of Lagos. <laughs> the needs, the wants and needs of my Lagos call straight. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I pull out the decanter of endless water. This is why I brought it. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Well, I'll see you. Oh, by the way, um, the bathrooms are occupied, so don't, um, just don't, just. Oh, don't. oh, I get it. Okay, thank you, thank you for the mm -hmm. warning. And I eat. Mm -hmm. Um, and d I'm very curious now. What are you making him do? <laughs> what is Aaron doing? I don't know. Aaron is. He is very drunk. Okay, go. Cool. <laughs> yeah, standing on a table. No, no. Okay, I, I go. I have I have hydraulic push in a bottle if needed. <laughs> oh, just... But yes, uh, the the cancer in this water water comes in handy that night. It's my favorite magic item. <laughs> it's a great magic item. Uh, and, you know, we'll roll over into the next morning at the Wayfinder's Respite Tavern. Um, and, uh, you know, it's early, uh, you know, Demisa said something about a bird watching competition and then had to leave before the sun was even out. Um, and you all made your way downstairs, met up with Marjorie, and uh, are having a conversation over breakfast. You can see the uh, Beery, the, you know, the innkeeper. She's behind the bar, polishing glasses, serving coffee, and uh, other things. I will go, um, okay, party, this is Marjorie. I met um, her at the party yesterday. She's great. Oh, that came out very bad. That came out with sarcasm. I did not mean the sarcasm. Dumisa hasn't even been gone for the morning. <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I met a new friend. We are friends. We have befriended the friend. Um, yeah, uh, hello. Um, and, uh, for those of you who are not acquainted, uh, Marjorie is a, like, three and a half foot tall um infernal gnome uh so she looks like uh, a cat she has dark uh sort of reddish orangish uh fur and uh black stripes uh with uh white uh accents and she has big long blue eyebrows that shoot off of her face and blue curly hair uh, she has a massive hat of the magi that has these like sort of star projections underneath them um, that are reflected in her sort of like little bit of uh overcoat and uh her suit is kind of like a one piece thing so she's not wearing pants but she does have boots on uh and she has a staff that is curved at the top to look a little bit like a heart uh and she has big round uh glasses I would I would die for her personally. I would character I would die for I would die for her Yes. Art so good. I'm uh, hold on, I need to I need to emotionally compose myself. I'm gonna I'm gonna cry. I love her. <laughs> So furry approved. Yep. That's just in This just in news at five. Furry cannot take themselves. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm looking at the wonderfully drawn rune, and my brain looked at the one at like the bottom, and I'm like, damn, that looks like a penis. <laughs> I... I'm so sorry. I think you're not wrong. Just a little bit, but like, I love this art so much. The hat, the expression, the po the anat- <laughs> So Joanna will nod at you and just see something new every day um hello good morning um sorry i need coffee before i interact with other people i understand i don't uh hello my name's mero it's a pleasure to meet you and a friend of a straight is a friend of mine let's just nod and look to the rest of you It's good meeting you. I'm glad you're not replacing Dumisa. I was scared for a bit. Oh, I don't know who that is, but I'm um, not replacing anyone. D Dumisa is my uh, girlfriend who cannot be here today, 
because she, ha she has joined a very competitive bird watching community here. Hmm. Right then. Uh, Tamsin sort of looks at you from across the table or room or whatever and nods and says, uh, Tamsin, what sort of magic do you practice here? Oh, uh, I am a bit of um, an enchantment specialist, if you might call it. I'm hey, gonna mm. scoff. <laughs> oh! Oh. <laughs> Don't be rude, Tamsin! Damn, academia over here, shit. Um, Marjorie just, uh, blinks, uh, and, like, she squints, like, a little bit. Says, um, just good at getting people to do things. And what good is that trickery in the end? <laughs> Thompson, would you, you like some Thompson. coffee? <laughs> what fucking hurt you? Yeah, Thompson, like rubs their eyes, is clearly sleepy and did not sleep well, uh, and takes the pro offered coffee. Will you please need also need coffee in the morning. Um, and like uh, like a Snickers or something. Jeez, you're already... are you hungry? Eat, you eat that egg. Jeremy, like one of the steak heads, floats over with a little spoon in its mouth that has a piece of scrambled egg on it. Turns Timson's face. <laughs> Jeremy. I love Jeremy. Oh, yes, Jeremy. Um, well, um, it is a pleasure to meet you all. Uh, I don't know how much Princess Estrella has told you. Have you told them anything? I have not told them shit because when I came <laughs> back, it was like three in the morning, and, and everybody right. was yeah. It was it was kind of late. Um, so like TLDR, um, Marjorie needs some help with amnesia. Ah uh, ah, uh, and I look at Joanna, and um. A couple of other things, including this magical book that is... I recognize it, but I just... I can't do it. And after Tamsin has had a coffee and some food and is less cranky, um, I would like some help with it. Um, Nisha? Is this a much more common thing than I thought it was? Uh oh, oh sort of. yeah now it is at least you know like you can't go two months full of time magic and not fuck things up for people um which is what happened with marjorie but apparently um you can't remember anything past that too right yeah i don't remember dick mm, fascinating zolzrum says as he eats strips of bacon and veggies what? I'm just giving this stuffed animal strips of bacon and veggies. I will eat I will eat veggies in front of them and be like, I have to do it. I have to be a good role model. But I'm, I'm also sorry. I'm sharing my bacon. What what is that? What what's hap what is that? It um this is Olstrom, uh our lovely puppet companion. Very wise. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, uh, my apologies. Um, yes, uh, she tips her hat a little bit. Yeah, got his, like, one of his, uh, his little poppet hands, like, up underneath his chin and stroking it like he's thinking. <laughs> wait, 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 Dozer needs his glasses. Mero, where's his glasses? Yes. I pull out tiny little, like, constructor creature glasses and I hand it to him. <laughs> yes. He has now the little blue dragon plushie wearing glasses. Now we're matching. Yeah. We got we got them a bunch of like costumes so you can wear and feel special. Mm hmm And the the glasses are are, are part of his academic attire. 
They're the thinking glasses. Mm -hmm. The glasses of pondering, if you will. Now, I'm not much help with books or anything like that, but if you need someone to run around town really, or run around the city really quickly to get something for you, just let me know. Right, you're one of the cell swords, right? I... Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Looks at this tree like, is that all I am to you? <laughs> no, baby, we, we are friends. Don't worry. I said we were friends, but we were all cell swords at the time. Yeah. I thought we were from such a, almost tearing up. Like, I thought we were friends. We are friends, but we were cell swords originally. I guess you. We literally you... picked them all up. We hired two of them. <laughs> Technically, I was a cell. I mean, you were hired. Uh, it was hired muscle, yeah. I, I guess I'm the hired muscle, but now a friend. I'm a friendly hired muscle. This is cell source. Do cell source have to be friendly? No, they um. really don't. <laughs> so, plus. And I'm a friendly cell source. <laughs> so, that book. <laughs> Yes, about that book. Unfortunately, <laughs> she just puts it on the table. It says, I, I haven't been able to figure it out. As a heads up, it, look, the pages are blank and divination magic is definitely in it. Does it look like any pages have been torn out from it? As you flip through it, no, it doesn't look like any pages have been torn out. You said that there's a symbol on the front right. Is there any sort of check I could do to try and recognize that? Uh, for that symbol, uh, it would be a society check. Anybody got true sight? No. 39 society? 39 society. Um, you feel like you've encountered this symbol before. Uh, and, like, uh, Australia last night, it's like, on the tip of your tongue, you're like, there's a th I've seen this before, it is this, this thing, and the, the word for it just slips from your mind. Can I vibe check that feeling? Like, does that seem like a magical effect? <laughs> sure, give me a, um, an arcana check. Oof, uh, 30. 30? Um, and I will say, this is a guest episode. You all have three hero points. Oh, wait, then I'm going to use a hero point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, 18 plus 24. Uh, that's a 42, I think. Ooh. Yeah, it is a magical effect. There is something about the aura of this book that is keeping people who are trying to look it up from remembering its name. It's weird, right? Yeah, there's some sort of effect on it, it seems, to keep us from remembering it, what it is, what it's called, what it's about. Or in my fucking life. Does that mean you don't remember where you came about it? Uh, nope. Uh, I woke up, and it was one of the things that was on me. Sort of looks towards Joanna. <laughs> you know, that sounds very familiar. Um, I'm pretty sure mine was fey induced Is this perhaps anything to do with fey? Oh, you... You also had uh, the mem memory problems. Was it also the same thing? Uh, I don't. I don't mm. know much about. It's, I. I'm sorry, Marjorie. It's a very long story that probably don't have time for. But yes, no. I memory things. Mine dealing with Faye. So, Jonathan just shrugs. Like you know, I'm not very good about magic shit, but this is probably that. I mean, maybe. Not out of the question. Weirder things have happened. Probably. I don't know. 
the party looks at Joanna. <laughs> uh, and real quick, Joanna, what is your perception? You cut out what? What is your perception bonus? Oh, I was muted. It's 18. 18? Yes. Okay. Um, as this conversation is happening, you suddenly get the feeling that you're being watched. Ooh, Joanna's gonna kind of look around, not obviously, but suspiciously. Looking, like, looking at things that are suspicious, not that she's being suspicious, looking around. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, as, as you're doing this, you know, you spot a, uh, as, like, as you do this, you're, you're, like, turning to look around and not be suspicious. Uh, you watch as this, uh, this sort of elf with his long dark hair suddenly just sort of like casually turns his back uh, and like he looks like he's looking uh, down at uh, a table. Uh, you know, he's like, you know, picks a pastry off the table and starts to eat it. Do they look familiar at all? Uh, to you? No. To me? Okay. I, I'm just going to kind of um, quietly to whoever is next to me and just gonna say um there seems to be someone interested in our conversation over there at the bar can we look uh yeah do you want to do so stealthily or do you just don't care um yeah let's do it stealthily mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Could I roll? Okay, this is this is a this is an ask, all right. Can uh-huh. I roll society or performance since I'm a bard and I'm really pretty? <laughs> so I can you know, do it casually. Sure, I will allow. I will allow society. <laughs> I'm gonna go with stealth. Thirty-five. 35? 34. God, if I was wearing the cloak, it would be 35, but that's a 34. I don't know what coat I'm wearing. But 34. I want to yeah. take a look. Stealth to take a look. Oh, damn. Through oh, with oh. <laughs> That uh, nat 20 there. Oh! I see how it is. Everyone gets oh. a 35. <laughs> Marsh Mar- also got a 34, I think. Yep. Hey! <laughs> you all see this elf as he finishes shoving a cheese danish in his mouth. Uh, and you also notice that there are two other figures keeping a close eye on all of you. Sort of each one of them is blocking your way to one of the exits. Um, Do you recognize any of them? As Marjorie's looking at this elf, she's going to push her glasses up and you see them flash a little bit and she's going to use her glasses of sociability Mm -hmm. to see if Uh they've exchanged names. Ooh! And it gives you their name if you've exchanged names? That's a good question. I don't think it actually does. I think it just tells me. If you have before. You have, um, Mm -hmm. essentially. Uh, Oh, wait. You should. You start another creature. Uh, Yes. I instantly remember their name if we've met and exchanged names. Yes. You remember that the elf's name is Griffin. Uh, Yeah. Marjorie does that. She says. Griffin. Why do I know that name? Why do I know this person? Oh, you know them? We should call them over. No, 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 uh, word. And Marjorie is going to say, attract. exactly my point. And she's going to get up and walk over to him. No! <laughs> oh, no! No, you stay right here. Oh, you cat. I, I'm going to walk with the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I will mm. rock right, right up to him. 
Yep. Uh, this this elf turns around. Um, you know, he has this long black hair, uh, which part of like one of the sides is shaved, and you can kind of see where there is these like claw marks that have scarred. Um, and uh, you know, he is wearing. He's wearing armor and has a sword strapped to his side. Uh, and he turns around and he just goes, Ah, oh, wondered when you'd notice me. Oh, you really, you really threw her for a loop, didn't you? What are you talking about, Griffin? What happened? You don't remember, you know, yeah. Our boss paid you to get a book. You didn't bring the book back to her. And then she sees you last night at this fancy ball. And she's out of money for that book. She would very much like that book. Griffin, I don't know what you remember, but I don't remember jack shit. You didn't have the, the thing. I don't even remember you. I just know your name. Oh shit, you opened it, didn't you? What? This? Oh, fuck. Do you show him the book? Yeah. Yeah, he just goes... Yeah. You know? Lady Penmark told you to get the book, but not to open it. I'm gonna need you to elaborate a little bit more about who that is and also who I am. Give me a diplomacy check. <laughs> I'm with these two just in case things turn sour. I don't know how strong this cat girl is. Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm in protect mode. Good with diplomacy. Ah, uh, that is a thirty-five. Thirty-five. Ah, uh, and uh, so as you do all of this, uh, you. Kind of gets a remorseful look on his face and, you know, one hand reaches for his sword. He's like, ah, sorry, it, I, I can't. You know, I have very specific orders and, you know, and uh, he is going to pull out one of his daggers and uh, everyone is going to need to roll initiative. OK, <laughs> time to commit acts of violence for my new friend. Yeah. Sorry and... about combat, guys. <laughs> no. And I get to play around with the new toy, the combat carousel. My name is Dumisa on this. <laughs> Why are you Dumisa? I don't know. I'm not the one who messed around. <laughs> You're Australia now. As I should be. I'm so hot. <laughs> Is that a six? You know what? I'm going to use a hero point on my initiative. God, these goons are rolling high. <laughs> oh, actually, I rolled an 11. Never mind. Wait, how'd you get the cool outline on your token? Oh, wait, no, uh, that's Mero. Gwen? Yeah, I rolled a oh, six. I have good. no idea. <laughs> I have no idea how that either. Uh... But it's just cool. <laughs> I, I... There Marjorie's we go. Fan favorite now. Uh, I, I think it might mean you actually haven't. Uh, what what did you roll for your like initiative, select, Marjorie? I, see. Uh, I got a thirty-four. Oh, oh, but it's it's not um updated. Oh, now it is. And Joanna, what did you get? Uh, I got a nat twenty, so my initiative roll is forty. Ooh. And we start. Oh, okay. I double clicked on the token, uh, and that's how you, I got the thing. What did you roll? 
Because I think it's now said if you like double click on your token, it'll like auto roll initiative. Uh, I it it looks like it's the same as before then because I I had twenty eight from prior. Okay. I didn't know if you had rolled something different. Nah, I just rolled with the the thing this time around. Mm hmm. All right. Um. So. You watch as Griffin pulls out uh, a club in one hand and a dagger in another, uh, and he is going to... You are right in front of him, and he... You've made him feel bad for what he's about to do. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, he is going to do a uh, essentially a two-action double slice. Cool. As a reaction, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> um, as he's going to slice, uh, Marjorie is going to uh, put her hands up. Um, she grabs her hat, her pupils go wide, and she says, You wouldn't hit an itty bitty pretty big titty kitty, would you? <laughs> and, I know uh, <laughs> and she's going to use <laughs> empathetic plea. <laughs> I would die for them. I, I would. Uh, what, do, what does that do? Uh, so, uh, if I'm attacked by a creature that uh, hasn't yet act, that I have not acted hostile towards yet, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I can use this um, for the attack. Um, just the way that I use my my big kitty eyes uh, that I've been practicing. Uh, they need to. Uh, I need to attempt a diplomacy check against the attacker's will save. Okay. Uh, and what happens if uh, it fails? Well, I got a natural 20. Yeah, it's gonna. Okay. He, he has a very low will save. <laughs> oh, so like, you're really gonna have to roll under 10 to, to fail this. Uh, so, on a failure, mm -hmm. uh, the. or on a crit success uh, for, for mm -hmm. me. Uh, yeah. The creature uh, pulls its attacks, uh, wastes its action, and cannot use hostile actions against me until the beginning of uh, its next turn. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah, I almost gave it to Estrella through the gnome adoption. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny. Yeah. Cool. Didn't think I'd be uh, losing the first thing, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is. Uh, and uh, you know, still has one more action, so uh, I guess he'll swing out at Marrow. That's fine. Uh, eh, that's, mm, that's not gonna hit, I don't think. What'd you roll? Uh, that's only 29. That will not hit, actually, barely. Yeah. <gasps> mm hmm. Okay, uh, and you see one of the other, you know, people that Griffin has brought with him. Uh, these look to be pretty much your, uh, you know, your run-of-the-mill goons, big, beefy, and armed to the teeth. Uh, and so this one will spend his first action to... move up over here, uh, and will uh pulls out the warhammer you know he wields the hefts the warhammer that's the word i'm looking for hefts the warhammer he's got and will swing at you grin big meanie uh and that is a 35. that'll hit not the big hammer for the small characters <laughs> um, uh for 15 bludgeoning damage Okay, Joanna, it is your turn. Oh, um, with an action, Joanna is going to um, um, call her shield to her arm. So it just gets there. I don't know if she had like on her back, on her bag, but nearby. And then it's going to move up to this lad. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Do I have any cool stabby stab stuff? Ooh. 
Um, <laughs> I'm gonna combat grab with her machete. Oh wait, I can't do that. I don't have one hand free. Oh. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fucking like stab them then with the machete. Because one, they just hit Gruen. How fucking dare they? Damn. Um, mm. Mm. I'm going to use a hero point. Probably a wise I idea. I don't want to live with a five. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. Cool. I mean, that's better. That's a 32. Uh, 32 actually won't hit. Ah. Ah. Well, action, move, attack. Okay, that's Joanna's turn. Yep. Uh, you know, you're uh, you're the machete. Uh, you know, you you just you think you've got a good spot, uh, and it just sort of like hits and clangs off of some armor. Mm. And it is another one's turn, and this one will come up to you, Marrow. And is uh, for first action. This uh, is going to swing at you with its warhammer for its second action. That's fine. It didn't flank me, so I'm taking it. He moved mm -hmm. right out of flank. <laughs> uh, and that will be a thirty-eight. Uh, if he was flanking me, that would have been a crit. So I'm grateful that it wasn't. That is mm -hmm. gonna hit though. Uh, and, uh, I was like, he's gonna shove, but I was like, he's got a really good place to shove you, so. Oh no, you shoved me against the table, whatever will I do? Uh, and you will take 16 bludgeoning damage, and he will follow it up with a second swing. Okay, let me do math on the first one real quick. Okay. Uh, and it's a uh, 33? Yeah, my AC's 30. And for another 16 damage. That's fine. Okay, uh, and this will bring us to Tamsin's turn. Yes, so I am going to sort of skirt around the room and go next to what's his face, Griffin. I do pass by the goon that was engaged with Joanna, so if they have opportunity attack, yep. they can hit me. Uh, they do, uh, and uh, they take a swing. Uh, and that is going to be a 38. Ah, uh, that sure does hit. Does it crit? It does not. Cool. Uh, for 18 bludgeoning damage. That's fine. Um. Okay, so then. Oh, it I... does stop your movement, though. Oh, it does? Oh, yeah, no. It'll stop right beside it. It, it depends on the type uh, of reaction. Yeah. It yeah. depends on the type of reaction. Yeah. Uh, this is just an attack of opportunity, so you can keep moving. This will yeah. not stop you. Okay. I don't. Yeah, for mine, it only stops if I get a crit. Hmm. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Just wanted to double check. Uh, so Tamsin, a little annoyed by getting hit by this thug, is going to clench her fist and the rings on her hand glow slightly as she casts True Strike, and then I am going to cast Blood Feast upon Griffin. Oh, uh, so with advantage, that is a 37. 37. Uh, against his AC. AC. Yeah, that's going to hit. Not going to crit, but it'll hit. Nice. OK, so here, let me roll in foundry. Um. So Tamsin's jaw basically like extends like in an unholy way um, and her teeth sharpen for a moment as her like neck also extends in a sort of um, like longer than it should 
and she just like bites down on his neck. Uh, so he takes 39 points of piercing damage. I get half of that as temp HP. And okay, that's it. Yep. Wild. <laughs> Scary milf. Scary mom. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, okay. and her jaw just sort of closes back to normal, and she sort of wipes her chin off slightly and looks the same as before. Griffin lets out uh, a long string of curses in Elvish. <laughs> I think we both under think we a uh, good majority of us understand them. <laughs> More of just boiled down to why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grun, it's just now your turn. Why are you attacking us? You look so sad. I am actually going to um, quicken cast calm emotions at Griffin, like behind Griffin, mm -hmm. so that it doesn't get anybody else. Unfortunately, I could get I could get all of them in the burst, but uh, it'll also get all of us, which could be bad. Mm -hmm. uh, and he rolled a net twenty. Uh, what was his, uh, does that uh, give him... That'll make it, that'll make it a 40. Wow. Okay. So, and yeah. It's a will yeah. save, right? Um, do, do, do. Yes. I think so. I don't know. Mm. Yes. I thought you said his will was low. Uh, Lies. Technically with, uh, you know, with all of that, it's... It's the lowest of all of his his uh, saves. Uh -oh. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see how those other saves are, because I will use the other two actions I have to cast a whirling flame. And we're going to go here to get him in the five foot burst. Uh, where? Oh, that's not actually here to get him in the five foot burst. And I have more fire resistance than is that, is that who is that right there? Oop. Uh, that's, that's Joanna. Joanna. You can yeah. hit Tamsin with fire. She's fine. Oh, wait, Jeremy isn't. Never mind. Don't hit us with fire, please. Yeah, so I'll hit myself instead. Oh, yeah, because you're resistant. Yeah, it's going to hurt, though. <laughs> this is probably not the greatest decision. Uh, uh, yeah, because uh, guess what I rolled? A bunch of 20s. Oh, three oh. nat 20s. What no the fuck? way. <laughs> I, I was like, Ugh! <laughs> Audience, there is photo evidence. There is well, photo evidence. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use a hero point on that. Because watch me get even worse. Welcome to the club, Aubrey. Yep. It, it'll, it'll stop being special the no more you help. do it. There we go. No. <laughs> is this how Grun dies to themselves? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> yeah, uh, yes! you yeah have I think you, oh. you critically hit yourself with damage. I'm okay with this. Sadness, Chan. <laughs> oh. Oh <my> <laughs> um, so that is uh, 40, 40 fire, damage. fire damage minus whatever. Uh, was it three fire resistance? Oh, no. Do you not have hero point? <laughs> oh wait, you use okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I I used a hero point, and I'm gonna leave it at that natural one on the hero point, even if I was allowed, because that is too funny. If we both die from re-rolling a save and getting a nat one, I think I think that's just poetic cinema right there. Yeah. Why uh, can't uh, is there anything else Groot wants to do on her turn? That's everything. I just completely fail a spell and then nuke myself, apparently. God! Because they all avoid it. 
<laughs> um, and Marjorie, it is your turn. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Marjorie's gonna see all this happen and just go, Oh, d I, d I need him alive, and uh, you all should stay alive too. Um, and she is going to reach out uh, to Groon and use uh, her. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, her <laughs> healer's gloves to pump some healing into Kroon. <laughs> it is 2d6 plus 7. Oh, my little b6s. Okay, could have been better. Uh, you heal for 12. Thank you. Um, and she will spend her next two actions uh, to uh, lock eyes with Griffin and cast mind games. Uh, and that is going to be a uh, a will saving throw. Uh, and that is going to be a 29. That does not save. Didn't think it did. Uh, so, uh, they are stunned, one, as Marjorie just locks eyes with him, and, uh, you can, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing between them, but you can feel the mind games happening. Marjorie has just locked this person in place, just reaching out to his mind, uh, and that's gonna be her turn. Oh. Mero, it is your turn. Yes. Um, God, he's stunned. Can we stack stunned, actually? Is that a thing? Like, if I if I stunning strike him, can we stack stunned onto this man and ruin his entire career? I am not sure, because usually with things like that, it just replaces it with a higher value. Okay, never mind then. Uh, he's, he's not looking good, so I'm going to focus on the guy who stabbed me twice, actually. Uh... Which was not very fun of him. That's not very cool, actually. Uh, so for my first action, I'm going to move half my movement speed over... Uh... Actually, am I going to move? Or am I just going to try trip? I'm going to try tripping him. I want to try tripping someone for once in my first action. I'm going to use strategy. Mm -hmm. On Griffin? Or no, the person behind you? The person behind me has not been dealt with much yet. Okay. I'm going to use what's called a, uh, a trip, which is my athletics. Which is pretty good, actually. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> that's a two on the dice. I, we have three hero points. I'm using one. I just want to trip points. I want to do this. I want to do this. Please don't give me, like, a nat one. <laughs> that's acrobatics. That's not the athletics. That's a lot better. That's a 39. <laughs> 39, and that's versus his reflex, DC. Uh, I th let me double check. It's like that or fortitude or AC, I forget. I think it's reflex. Reflex. Reflex okay. DC. Cool. Uh, cause yeah, his uh, reflex DC would be a 28. So that's a crit. That's a yep. crit trip. I don't uh, know if there's any bonus. I, I don't think it, uh, it does anything extra on a crit. It's extra embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> the target f falls uh, prone falls and takes man prone. and takes one d six bludgeoning damage. Oh, nice! Let me roll a d six real quick. <laughs> oh, they're and they're embarrassed. And they look goofy. Yep. So that's five points of embarrassment damage. <laughs> Just bonks his butt. Yeah. Uh, so he's prone. For my second action, I'd like to do what I've been trying to do my whole life, and I want to head stomp him. <laughs> that is an action. <laughs> so let's roll to head stomp, which is just, I think, my unarmed attack. No! <laughs> I'm I'm limited on hero points, but I don't want to take a two. I've worked so hard. I'm using another hero point. I'm stubborn. 
Come on, I want to do this combo. I'm gonna do it. I'm. Give me the give me the hit stomp. That's 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 a twenty six. I don't think that's gonna hit this dude. It's not gonna hit. God. He manages to just roll out of the way just in time. I am so angry. I, I see if there's like a third thing that I can do. I'm like I had this combo prepared. Unless I tried it like a minus eight, but that's not going to go very well for me. Uh, hold on. I'm going to, I guess, reposition myself, actually. No, wait, no, I moved. I think that's it from... Did I move? I didn't You did move. not move. Did you, not you're move, still so in the same spot where you started. Okay. Uh, can I move across this tile that has a table on it? Is that, like, legal, or...? Th theoretically, yes. It depends on how much you want to anger the bartender, though. <laughs> We are literally being assaulted in his bar. I don't. Yeah, there's already fire vortexes happening, you know. Yeah, there's already like so much stuff happening. Uh, let me double check. I can just move through ally space without an issue, right? As long as you don't end your end your, uh, end your turn there. Okay, I have no idea what this aura is going on here, but uh, I'm gonna move to flank Griffin. That's less than twenty five feet. So, bonsoir. That's my turn. All right, and that'll bring us to Astrea. I will start and inspire courage, specifically saying something along the lines of them. We don't kill people. No, no, no. Reminder, we don't kill people! You know, <laughs> tune them. We don't talk about Bruno! And I'll just start that shit up. Um, with a big, heavy fucking reminder that we are not killing people. Especially not in this establishment. Um, since Fire Courage is up, everybody gets a plus, um, one to, um, attack rolls, damage rolls, and saves against fear effects. Um... For my second thing, um, mm, yeah, fuck it. Uh, I will. Um, I'll I'll throw Rosalite. She'll get bigger. Um, and move up to um, the prone one, and yep. uh, and punch him. <laughs> yeah, she hasn't punched anyone in a while. I know she wants to bite, but I don't want her to kill anyone yet. Please don't kill anyone. <laughs> oh god, what is she? Okay, that's it. Um thirty-two. Uh thirty-two, thirty-two is gonna hit. Uh, she will not do much damage, just out of pure... Oh, 33! Sorry, my bad. 33? Still hits. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. She won't do that much damage. Um, for about 11 points of, um, bludgeoning damage. 11 points of bludgeoning damage? Cool. Yeah, punches him. Knock that bitch out. Or, well, attempt to. And that's, that's all three turns. Oh, wait, oh. no, it's not! No, it's not! No, it's not! Oh. Oh god, yeah, because it's to, to I've been playing Sarnai too much. <laughs> mm, yes. so where where we have tandem movement. Um it's not my tandem move, tandem strike, so I don't have to think too much about it. She's done her two things. She's moved in attack. Mm. I have to give her one I can still do one more thing, so I guess I'll just linger in composition. Um and uh ho hopefully I don't have to keep rolling to to sustain or whatever. Um that is a lot. That's a... Nope, no, it's not. My bad. That's like a 30 straight up. 30? Uh, that is a, is a success. Yeah. So it'll it'll last for three rounds. I don't have to touch it. Yep. Cool. Uh, I'll be back this up around Griffin, and Griffin is... Uh... Uh, and, uh, so for the thing you, you did, Marjorie, uh, 
a can't attack you for the rest of the thing, or is it just that round? Uh, let me double check again. Uh, he's on some stunt one, which is hilarious. Yep. Um, good way now. Uh, oh, it just disappeared. Hello. Uh, can't use hostile actions against you into till the beginning of its next turn, so it can. So it, you can use hostile actions now. Cool. Uh, you know, it's just like I gotta. Uh, and he is going to use his two actions to double slice. Um, I might have another reaction. Uh, <laughs> One of them is a dagger, and the other is a club. Uh, and that is, for the first one, going to be a 33, and the second one going to be a 32. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, those are gonna hit. <laughs> okay. So, for the slice with the dagger, it's going to deal... Uh, 18 piercing damage, uh, and then the uh, attack mm -hmm. with the club will deal uh, uh, 19 bludgeoning damage. Mm hmm. Good and fine. It's great. Uh, was there any uh, reactions you wanted to do? Uh, no, that's all I had. <laughs> hey, that's his entire turn. Uh, so it is his, the goon's turn, and so, and so, uh, he is going to turn back to, towards you, Joanna, and swing his Warhammer at you. Fucking rude. Uh, and that is going to be a... That uh, is going to be a 42. Oh, thank God for the shield that doesn't crit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just barely. Uh, and he is also going to use that to shove you back 10 feet as you take uh, 19 bludgeoning damage. How fucking dare they do this? You should back 10 feet? Uh, 10 feet, yes. Alright, just me out. Alright, uh, and then we'll turn that around and, uh, attack you, Grun. I die. Okay, uh, and... Uh, and that is a 38. That will hit. Okay. Uh, and that is 16 dam 16 bludgeoning damage. Uh, and then he will take his last action to step uh, and put Marjorie in uh, flanking with Griffin. That's not very cool of you, dude. Okay, it's fine. It's good. It's not going to matter. <laughs> <laughs> and it is now Joanna's turn. Okay, okay, all right, okay. So say if I were to move, like, right there, mm -hmm. would that be considered being flanked by these two? Uh, no, because they're just be on one on, like, either side of you. Opposite but directions. You, would put, okay. you would put him in flanking with Marjorie. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> not. <laughs> just, <laughs> no, he would be flanking. He, like, he would be flanked because Marjorie was on the other side. Yeah, we're doing a flank train. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, which I see. reduces his AC. Oh, then you know what? Yeah, that's fucking. Oh, I'm choosing the wrong tool. How do things work? Hand. Hand? No. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, it's the uh, the person. The person. Yep. There we go. Um, uh, yes. It now it might now it gives me a notification when you hit the hand button. <laughs> it goes bajing. Uh. Are they wearing any metal armor? Yes. Great. And Joanna is going to um, 
with one of the like the hand that has the shield in it they're still gonna trace it down the other arm with the machete is the mm. free action to drop a weapon uh yes cool joanna's gonna drop her weapon and then, yeah do that like she goes down and you see this um flowing tattoo goes down her arm and she's gonna look and it's like that was very incredibly impolite and um, she uh the tattoo glows and she's gonna use shock and grasp Cool. Then that is a um, an attack. Spell attack. It's spell touch, attack. So. Uh, that is a thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yes. Uh, because he's flanked, that hits. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. And let's see, they take two d twelve, and then one d four persistent because they're wearing armor. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. The target on six. Yeah. Time. Oh, that's 13 electric damage and one persistent damage. Um, and that's her turn. Okay. And it is the goon's turn. Um, so the goon will use first action to stand up. Uh, Is that to an attack of opportunity? Um, standing up is, believe it, if... Well, let me just look at my attack of opportunity, actually. Yeah. Because it depends for which one. Where is it? Donde esta? Attack of opportunity. Stand to drop prone. Uh, it is a move action. It is a move action. It is a move action. So if your thing um, says it, it, you know, if it if it triggers on a move action. Yeah, uh, manipulate action or move action makes a range yeah. attack or leaves a square. Cool. Um, all Joanna has is her fist because she dropped her rochete. Oh, you got a shield. Can I use shield bash or something? Uh, I mean, there are stats to do to attack with shields. Where's my shield? It doesn't have a stat. Uh, there may also be like a specific feat you need, but I think it's know, a, I think it's a specific feat. feat you need. Okay. Um, well, I'm just going to roll. I'm pretty sure I'm proficient with punch. Yeah, unarmed strike. You're very good with unarmed strike. You're a master at unarmed strikes. <laughs> at level one. <laughs> Ooh. Um. So if I'm a master with it, ba, 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 I'm doing this on the fly, pardon me. That is uh, 39. Uh, 39? Yeah. 39 is going to hit. It is not a crit, uh, but it will hit. Also, have you all been adding your plus ones? 40. 40? 40? Uh, 40 will crit. <laughs> hey. um, you also get plus one to damages. Yep. Nice. Uh, I mean, or, it's still only going to be a D4 doubled. Huh? I mean, maybe. Uh, pulling from the critical hit for you. Uh, bludgeoning. Uh, I will, uh, you, you can either, uh, do the double damage or you can do this. You can do nighty night. You can knock the target unconscious until the end of their next turn. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I think Japan is just be like, don't you fucking stand up and just going to fucking punch him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. And they take nine damage. <laughs> this poor guy just gets knocked on his ass, tries to get up there, and immediately gets knocked on his ass again. That's what he fucking deserves. <laughs> yeah. Justice <laughs> for Gotham! <laughs> Yeah, and then he loses this entire next turn. Uh, he loses, the, well, next turn. So, I mean, that is next round. So he gets, doesn't do anything this turn and won't do, be able to do anything until the end of his next turn. Uh, so now it is Tamsin's turn. Okay, I am going to move into a line with the two goons, which means leaving Griffin's space if he mm -hmm. wants to attack me. Uh, Griffin... Uh yeah, he's an attack opportunity. 
We'll swing it. Uh, okay. So that is a with his uh his dagger. That is a thirty-seven. It does not crit. And you take thirteen damage from that dagger. Hey, I take zero damage because that all goes through my temp HP. But I am now going to cast Enervation in a line of or, the two oh, goons. I was like, I was like, are you just going to cast Lightning Bolt? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not have it stopped right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so both of them give me a fortitude save, both goons. I don't know how that works if one of them is currently unconscious. Um, He has uh, penalties to uh, certain saves. I don't think Fortitude is one of them, but like Reflex, things like that. Um, it's not really gonna help him because he rolled four. It's only a 26 for him. Uh, and for the one that is directly in front of you is a 31. Okay, DC 30. So one failed, one succeeded. Um, let me roll that damage real quick. So the one that failed takes 22 persistent negative damage and becomes drained one. The other takes 11 oh. persistent negative damage, but is not drained. This guy's really having a bad day. Uh, and with my last action, I will go ahead and cast shield. Persistent. <laughs> That's what it says. You're in, it just now your turn. So this uh yes. How's he looking? Still pretty good. Okay. So I'm going, you know, on the one hand, I could revive people from the dead. No one's on dead, the though. other hand, I'm going to hit him with a sixth level searing light. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use my... <laughs> that was a natural <laughs> one, people. I'm going to use my last hero point to reroll that natural one. Watch it. Watch from Giga, another natural one. <laughs> well, it oh wasn't a one. It was two ones, being two. It was two. <laughs> yeah. Technically, uh, it's a 23. It's a 23. So, yeah, it's not a critical failure. <laughs> How did you miss. get this wow. bad luck? I'm sorry. So sorry. It's, be it's because you're aiming to kill, and Astraea said don't kill, and now the universe is attacking you. So the Johanna. <laughs> okay, and for my third action, I'm going to battlefield medicine myself, um, and go ahead and go for the uh, what's the master? Is it DC thirty? Yes. Yeah. Let's see if I can keep up my bad. Uh, thing because I only need a nine critical fails. Here's, a, more. here's coming for a natural one. Don't even say I have that. faith. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, Aww. there you go. Okay, oh. so that's gonna be quite a bit of healing. We have to look that up and then do it. But yeah, so I successfully battlefield medicine myself. For the people watching, that was a 38 with a 17 on the dice. Yep. Uh, and Marjorie, it's now your turn. Uh, whew. all right. Um, <laughs> she is, even though she got slashed at, she is concentrating, um, and she is going to sustain mind games. Um, so they need to make another will save. Uh, that is going to be a, uh, 19. Ooh, that's a critical failure. Uh, <laughs> so they're stunned too now. 
Will save. More like won't save. <laughs> okay, you, you got me. Thank uh, you. <laughs> yeah. uh, so that happens. Mm. Uh, and then Marjorie is going to burn a focus point past charming words at him now. Um, which is another will save. <laughs> I really want to uh... Yeah, how does how's the 20 sound? That's a Wait, critical failure. 22. 22. Oh, 22? Okay, so that's just a regular failure. Yeah. Um Okay, so now he's stunned too and cannot use hostile actions against me. Um and she's just gonna go. If you really know me, you know I can keep this up all day. And she is going to, while just staring at him, reach behind herself uh, and quicken uh, Daze at the goon behind her. So that's another will save from the, that goon. Uh, and that is going to be... Uh, 29. That does not save... So that is going to be... Uh, 2d6 plus 5, so... Uh, it's going to be 12 mental damage. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, and this will bring us to Marrow. Hi, I'd like to deal damage. Yeah. Uh, I, I I love how Griff is just aggressively failing every single will save. Like, yes, cat girl, ma'am. But I'm sorry, this cat girl's out of his league. She's out of my <laughs> league, too, actually. Like, out of character. Not yes, <laughs> there's one person whose league that uh, Marjorie is in, and she is not here. Out of character, I would die for her. I would die for her and accept it. But I'm going to use a flurry of blows key strike, and because I'm flanking, and this is going to do a lot of damage if I hit real hard. So, uh, is Estrella, is your plus one a status or circumstance? Status. Okay. That's funny. Let me roll some punches real quick. So the first one... That is a 36 with Australia's plus one. 36 is gonna hit. Okay, let me roll a bunch of damage really quickly, actually. I don't want to kill this man, as a statement. <laughs> But my dice okay. want to ruin his life. So that is, yeah. um... He's not even down a quarter of his health yet, I will say. Yeah, that is 16 bludgeoning. That is four... Let's go necrotic this time. I don't think he's, like, undead. And for oh, sneak surprise. attack... Surprise! <laughs> no! <laughs> for sneak attack damage, it is four precision. Uh, let me do my second attack in this flurry really quickly. <laughs> That almost rolled on the one, and I almost had a heart attack. That is another 36, though. Still hits. Okay. Uh, let's roll some more damage. So that is 13 bludgeoning this time. 5 necrotic. And... 3 precision. Weird mix of damage, but I'm just hitting him with necrotic in the in the in the you know in the in the joints stuff like that. I feel it. The next <laughs> morning when he tries to get out of bed, <laughs> he's gonna be like, "Damn, those punches really hurt." And um, hmm, let's see. 
He says all my attacks turn one. Doesn't know what to do. I... Let me see if I can actually... You see my arrow? Yeah, towards the bar. Wait, sorry, one sec, one sec. Sorry, something stuck in my throat or something. But, um, can I knock this guy over here in this direction with my ram ring where I am right now? I, I think he's on the ground, actually. Never mind. I'm not going to Yeah, he's on the ground, up. so technically he's harder to hit with ranged stuff. Yeah, it is technically a fortitude save and not me uh, doing anything. <laughs> but, uh, I... Hmm. I have to move to be able to ram ring someone. I'm going to ram ring him, actually. I don't care if it pushes him. Uh, he has to make a save, though. I don't have to roll. Use my other two actions on this. It is a fortitude save. I think the DC is like 24 or something like that. 36. So hold on. That's unfortunate. I think it's a critical success. I think he's unaffected. Yeah. Hold on, let me double check this, but yeah. The spiritual ram is like... Yeah, it just, it's just... It's hard to hit somebody who's, like, laying on the ground. This cool ram is just, like... It doesn't even say the thing. I think it's 24, but... Yeah. It just, it just passes by after just some good, really punches. It just, look at the ring, it's just like, you failed me. That <laughs> is my turn. Yep, that's right. It's now your turn. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Um... So I have the spell cast into time. It's a cone, and it does mention creatures. However, everything else becomes, like, it, it turns from plural to singular. So what I'm trying to ask is, is this, does this affect multiple people or not? Because it is very confusing. Turn into time? Cast in, into time. Cast into time. Okay. Take a look at what it says. I receive, uh, it sends creatures violently tumbling through time, uh, scarring their bodies with the information flying around them. Strange you feel it lasts for a minute or even days, targets reappear instantly, witnessing this flow, a creature falls into time. Let's see. It is a cone, so anything that is stuck in the cone. Dope, 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 dope. I can't use it then, unless I want to send all of my friends into a nice time-induced headache. Um, so instead... Um, this sucks. I'm in, an, I'm in a spot where everybody's in front of me, and therefore I can attack them pretty hard. Um, hmm... I actively don't know what to do, uh, unless I'm okay, unless I start feeling okay hitting all my allies, because you guys are all around them. Um... Uh... Uh... Joanna is currently fighting. The person that Joanna is currently fighting, I guess. Mm. 31 to hit. Oh, 32 to hit. Uh, 30, 32. 32 is going to hit. Cool. Um, I'll just roll the other attack as well so that way I can give you the lump sum. Um, mm -hmm. 29? Uh, 29 will not hit. Okay. And that does that does uh, nine points of of chomp damage. Chomp, chomp. Um, <laughs> I have nothing else I can do. You can always telekinetic projectile. They're in the way. Telekinetic projectile is a spell attack. You don't need to have like full. 
Yeah, Look, I'm whatever. really out of it. I don't know. I'm like, oh, I'm really out of it. So I'm like zoning the fuck out. I have no idea what I'm what is happening right now. I'm just gonna telekinetic maneuver on Griffin to trip him. That's okay. it. Um, okay. Um, that's 33. 33, uh, that is success versus AC, is success. Not AC, it's versus their athletics um, DC. Athletics DC? I think, yeah, it's the trip, right? Uh, yeah, that's still a success. Cool, he is tripped. He is now pro. And we will roll back around his turn where he will lose two actions. Uh, and then he will use a free action to just let go of his weapons and sort of just being like, hold up his hands, just being like, yeah, okay, okay, fuck. Oh, this is a horrible idea. Oh, God. Mm. Yep. I surrender. Surrender. <laughs> Can I use a reaction to put a boot on his chest? Sure, yeah, I like that. Because, I mean, uh, as long as everybody's okay with the surrender, they will go out of uh, initiative. He is not trying to stand up. He is just laying on the ground, holding his hands up in surrender. And he's just like, stand down take care of your friend please well i'm not gonna punch him i'm gonna watch him staring mm -hmm. joanna is gonna look at the one in front of him he's like yes take care of your friend and he goes over and like sort of like hefts the dude like arm up over his shoulder and they like hobble over to where the bar is Hey everybody, Aubrey here with a fun little announcement. Uh, Goblets and Gaze is now an affiliate over at Adventure Dice. And we know how much we all love those math rocks. So if you need some new math rocks in your life, go over to adventuredice.ca and in the checkout code, enter our promo code Goblets for 10% off. But also they have dice, they have other TTRPG accessories and tabletop goodies, dice trays, uh, condition rings, and things like that, little spell casting stuff. Great stuff there. Go check them out uh, and support our show. Thank you. Marjorie's gonna just sort of like turn around to everybody and say, Thank you. And then. <laughs> Looks out at Griffin and say, So, uh, I thought you knew me, but clearly you didn't because you tried that shit. So let's start over. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, he sort of just like lets his arms just like kind of fall and not trying to get up or anything and just being like, Technically, both of us, you know, you, I, yes, you, uh, I guess at the time, worked for this woman in Crasso named Lady Penmark, uh, and, uh, you know, she had hired you to take this very rare book from the college and give it to her. Paid you a lot of money for it, too. Or was going to, but you never brought the book. Because I looked at the book. Do That's you, what you're saying. You uh, opened the book. Uh, apparently, um, it had been sealed with some sort of magic thing. Uh, I don't know magic. I am not really sure what it is. Uh, but you opened it. His curse probably uh, got place on you and yeah 
It was uh, trying to uh, make people forget about it. it... Uh, why did I do that? Why was I doing jobs for people? Not my style. Uh, I mean, I think the almost 10,000 gold she was going to pay you for this book. Wow. Uh, you look around. Uh, <laughs> are there still like patrons in the tavern or like? <laughs> uh, like they've all done like the kind of like shuffle where they're all sitting in a different side of the tavern. They didn't leave or anything uh, because they wanted to watch the fight, but they cleared out of your way. <laughs> um, I'm just going to lean down and say, God, you're f so stupid. Hush, that's a lot of money. Oh, yeah. Mm, but, you know. And then, yeah, yeah. We just, uh, the Lady Finmark just thought you were dead with the whole, you know, invasion and things like that. And then everybody being sealed away for a few, for a few months. Uh, and then she didn't even know you were still alive. So she's like, it's a party last night. She was angry. Very angry. Thought um, you'd like double crossed her and all that. Fair enough. I can see how that might have happened. Um... But I, I don't, I don't fucking, I don't fucking remember. Uh, what? We're we're really doing this in the middle of a tavern. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry, everybody. Um, this is apparently my fault. Yeah, the innkeeper from the bar is just, you know. She's uh, polishing some glasses, handed, to, handed out some drinks. She's just being like, yeah, it's, it's breakfast in a show, you know? It's, uh, it's got to have some excitement in the morning. Wild. Um, and she turns to the party and says, uh, that apology was mostly for you. Well, I can't say it's the worst that has happened, so... Um, well, <clears throat> uh, Prince Hedestrea, you said you had some sort of mind uh, delving magic? Uh, yes. Uh, specifically memory delving magics. So, oh, if you have a curse on you, I can low-key do something about that, sort of. Oh? Well, one, I can identify if you have a curse on you. And and two, I, I can... Uh, I'm like a pharmacist of curses, you know? I can prescribe you with something. And then we Thanks. also have a whole other person who is much more capable of healing. And I point to Grun. I can also do curses. I mean, curse, curse healing. Curse removal, curse, yes. Yeah, not, not, uh. Your, um, your repertoire of skills continue to surprise me by the minute. Honestly. If you had, any, <laughs> if you had anything on dragons, I could probably help you with that too. Ah. With dra dragons? Yeah, that's a hobby. And dad collecting is also my hobby. Oh, I'm not really into that. Me neither, it just happened. Astria has a bunch of daddies. Not that kind of daddies. The, the, <laughs> the, the kind that would provide the majority of this party with issues, but for me, it's just it's just a fun game. Yeah, I know... I know quite a few people like that, um, but, uh, curse removal, interested. Um, okay, let's, l let me just vibe check you first. Can I curse lore, um, Marjorie yeah. to see if she even has a curse? Oh. 
I'm gonna use one of my hero points because mm -hmm. I I'm pretty sure I I haven't used a single one. <laughs> Am I able to assist that? I'm not sure what how you vibe check that. I straight um, up have curse lore, but I have no yeah. idea about assistance. Uh, if you want to roll like a religion check uh, to to assist, uh, if you succeed, you'll get bonuses. I would love to roll a religion check to assist. Hey, that's a thirty-five. Yeah, it's a plus two for Australia. Just gotta add that to my plus twenty-one. Um, ba 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 forty. Yep, hella cursed. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Marge, wow. I should have done this last night. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Marjorie. You're more uh, cursed than cat. Uh, well, um, can't say that I've been cursed checked recently, so, um, went undetected, I suppose. Probably, yeah. I mean, if it's memory stuff, you know? Not much you can do about that. We have two other memory-related issues. One of them involves ghosts, and the other one revolves around the plain of Mexico. I have no idea how to prescribe that. Joanna waves. Take two Mexicos and call me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta take a Mexico every single day. For at least a month. After a month, we can meet up again. See how you're doing. <laughs> up the dosage of Mexico. Oh, damn. Okay, um, with my 40, can I tell what kind of curse it is? Or yeah. if, like, remove curse, the spell would be enough? Um, so for the curse itself, it is a curse sort of like on Marjorie's memory. It like kind of like everything from before when she opened the book and triggered the curse, locked away in like a little memory vault. Uh, and uh, let's see. I am looking at remove curse right now. Yeah, see. I don't have it pre prepared. But I, I'm pretty sure Grun might. Yeah. Yeah, I always have it ready. Yeah, yeah. I don't prepare it because I know I remember we talked and you wanted mm -hmm. more of the Buffy buffs. Mm -hmm. Um, you tend to counteract. And the curse comes from a cursed item. Rick's curse says indicates target creature can rid themselves of the cursed item. Doesn't remove the curse from the item. So yeah, um, it will be a. Uh, will be a um, either a you making a religion check or a um, occultism check versus the DC of this item. The DC is a 40. And if you can successfully do that, uh, you can rid the curse from Marjorie, but the item itself will still be cursed. So would not suggest. Okay, so back. what I do is I have Rosalite turn into baby size again. I pick Rosalite up and I use just Rosalite to explain how this curse works. Just somehow, just just holding up a pink crystal lizard and going. And Wait. if this was the curse, it just it stays here, and we can remove it from here. But the object, and I dangle the baby. Um, but the object will still be cursed, so, like, we can't get rid of that. But we can get rid of it from, from you. DC uh, 40 make, make her probably up. can. <laughs> no, I meant, like, when you, when you hold a baby and you play with its hands. Yeah. I thought you like, were, like, that's what I like, meant. That's yeah. what I meant, yeah. No, I'm not speaking through Rosalite. Rosalite can speak for herself. Itty. Uh, yeah, I, yes, I understand. I am the line. Um, anyway, uh, oh, okay. I mean, if the book is cursed, 
I'll leave it alone this time. I mean, I must have had a reason, though. Curiosity that killed a cat. And I'm I mean, sure satisfaction I brings rude. it back, so who, who the fuck knows? No, it's not. <laughs> it can't be. I mean, no, it can be in some cases for sure, but I mean, you're asking why you opened it. I'm like, you could have just opened it for the sake of opening it. You know how many times I tell these bitches not to kill people and they still do it? I, I like to think I have a little bit of a head on my shoulders and I think there was probably a reason. Probably. Well, maybe you'll remember the reason. I mean, if you think you can do it, I mean, do you, do you need anything from me? Is there, is there any way I can help? Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna look at Grun and be like, do you want to cast your spell or do you want me to try something? Um, you had something in particular to try? Um, well, Aubrey said um, for me to roll religion or occultism, right? Or was that for I think that was Marjorie for... to roll? I think that was for the counteract check for remove curse. Oh, okay. Well, then go. Ahead. We'll do it. Um, and I think I was trying to look at. I think it's supposed to be basically your spell attack modifier, but I can't. Oh, I mean spell attack I, modifier. That that also makes sense. The re remove curse itself is very vague. Yeah, and the counteract rules are like, oh yeah, you roll whatever the. Uh, applicable thing to counteract is and it's like what modifiers do you use but i think it's your spell casting proficiency plus your spell casting modifier makes the most sense yeah i mean that makes sense i will i will rule with that um let's see and, Where... you know i will say people can assist with it yeah, if you need assistance, I don't mind doing that. I definitely need assistance because mm -hmm. I need a natural 20. Oh, <laughs> Not that shit. Grim knows that, but... Okay. Well, I can help um, for sure, but I, I obviously I can't give you much, even if I do well. All right, so we'll sit you down. Uh, before we go somewhere, I want to go over to that the guy that kept hitting me and like kick him in the shin like okay now we can do it <laughs> it's meanie it's just, it's just you don't even do any damage just like a clang because i think your strength is an eight uh, uh marjorie at this point is just sitting on griffin's chest and say um yeah do we need to go anywhere or and she's checking her nails we no can... We can do it here, right? Yeah, yeah as long fine. as you're not creeped out. <laughs> I don't know what the other patrons will think, but we'll take 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and after 10 minutes, I... Oh, hey, there's a button for counteract. Oh? It, yeah, it it's making it automatically do... Okay, who's anybody helping? Yeah, I'll help, I'll help. What do oh. I roll to help in this case? Uh, either a to to do an aid, it's either occultism or religion, or I would allow you to roll curse lore, um, for that. Anybody oh, else um, who wants yeah. to help out, and you know we can stack them all together if you manage to succeed. I'll try to help with occultism. Natural twenty with curse lore, so forty one. Forty one. So that is a plus two. 32, but I used 30. to hear a point. <laughs> 32? I mean, that's um, still also a plus two, so there's a plus four that you have to your roll. What is my occultism? 16. Can I aid if I'm the one being decursed? <laughs> I'll allow it. I'm just gonna try to open her mind. Yeah. Uh... Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I I know how to do math. We're all gay. We don't know how to do math. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Okay, that is another plus two. So this is plus six. 
All right, and for some reason I can't type. Oh. Oh. What the oh? Oh goodness. <laughs> um, I was like, why can't I add a modifier? And then I was like, oh, it is typing. And then it added 64,444. Yeah. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> okay, the adding the thing isn't going to work, so we're just going to have to add to this number. Um, 41. 41. Hey. Yep. Uh, so yeah, you take the 10 minutes, you know, do your own little fun little ritual for cleansing the curse. Uh, and yeah, at the end of it, you know, you... Um, I, I don't know how you end this ritual. Uh, so it's like <laughs> 10 minutes of you mo gue gue fai vi zao, you mo gue gue fai vi zao, and then poke. Um, yes. And when that happens, it is like a vault unlocks in your head, Marjorie. Uh, and suddenly all of these memories come flooding back. Yeah, and you definitely remember is you were told to get the book. Don't open it. And for some reason or any curiosity, you weren't told why you shouldn't open. You were just told not to. Uh, you opened it, and it sealed away all of your memories. Uh, just stands up on Griffin's chest. Uh, he goes, <laughs> Holy shit. I was a nobody. <laughs> Um, is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> she gets off of Griffin, and you see her just like hand on a wall, just <laughs> head against the wall. No, this is terrible. <laughs> On a side note, do you remember me now, or because I don't really remember you? Yeah, you dropped out, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, so we were classmates? Probably, probably not very many classes. At least one. Okay, cool. At least, well, at least one. And I was like, even shorter then, so like, yeah. I didn't have the hat. I see, I see. Oh, that is actually a big giveaway. Yeah, it's a, it's a statement piece. Um... Wow, well, yeah, no. It, no, it makes sense now. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, I was... I... I wasn't... I literally was a nobody. I was penniless. I just was able to study magic and that's all that I had. I made money by serving the people I pretend to be. Shit. And she looks a little disheartened. <laughs> I mean, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, if you think about it now, though, you've done a lot of other things. You know, since you've left, now you just have your now you just have your past back. Doesn't mean you're still doing what you did in the past, because if so, then you have like eight to nine months, or maybe ten months now. I I don't know the passage of time um, worth of um, classes you've missed. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I I. I guess I figured out magic again. See, that's a plus. Uh, I mean, hmm? hey, take it from me. 
It doesn't matter who you were, it matters who you are now. And remember, most people are nobody, but every person is important. Oh, it's kind of inspiring. Uh, also, I will say that you all know that book is still cursed. Yeah, don't open that book now. Uh, yeah, no, I won't. Um, but... And she turns to Griffin. Listen, I don't really know what this is. But Miss Penprick or whatever is yep. not getting it. Ah, yeah, no, I uh, will. <clears throat> Me and my boys will say, uh, we missed you. Be huge. You skipped town before we could find you. Huh. <laughs> you really want to tell her that? It sounds better than I let you go. Uh, yeah, you skipped town means maybe I just, you know, have a shitty couple of months. Me saying I let you go means I'm probably losing my head. Griffin, just get out of here. You don't gotta keep working for her. Hmm, I think. Yeah, maybe there's a pirate ship looking for people. So oh, there might be a gay on a farm! <laughs> There's a lot of pirate ships out hey, hey. here. I know someone. Did you see no pirate? You mm. should you should room with Heavy. He leads new friends. Um maybe I don't know if they're on a pirate ship going out. I don't know, maybe I'll just I'll get on a ship that's going out of here. Uh and yeah. Um, also, if anybody now wants to make a society check on who Lady Penmark is, uh, yes, please, yes. go do that. I could do it. I would also also do that. I'm gonna use a hero point. We don't accept any like fives or below in this <laughs> house. Uh, Thirty-eight for me. Thirty-eight. Uh, I got a twenty-five. I got a 17. She sure has a name. <laughs> I, a I also got a 25. I also got a 38. 38? Okay. Um, so... The people who were 30 and above, uh... Uh, it is, uh... Lady, um... Lady, Lady Adair Penmark. Um, she is a noble of some ill repute in Cressa, um, known for enemies of her usually meet bad, uncomfortable ends. Um, she is said to have her um, fingers in pies for uh, smuggling, blackmail, all that fun stuff. She has essentially gotten her, uh, like, climbed her way up through society through extortion, blackmail, and various things like that. Ooh, okay, and so she's in Cressa, so the book was stolen from their the, university in Cressa yep. rather than the Adventures Academy. Okay, cool. Yep, it was stolen from the uh, university in Cressa, and she is she came to Lady Barlow's uh, party last night. That's where she saw Marjorie and realized, ha ha! Oh, well, goddamn. <laughs> Could probably get rid of her in not the killing way. Damn. Okay, cool. Keeping tabs, that's for sure. Yeah, I am worried that the assassins will keep coming, but, uh... Well, that's if they can catch you, but, I mean, again, if if, if, if protection is what you're worried about, I can just... I can help you get out of here. I have a whole prince in the back over there. <laughs> yeah, and you... You watch as like Aaron like kind of like picks his head up off the bar and like looks over and he's like, "Hey, I'm really hungover right now." Mm -hmm. And he like goes to you know back to his cup of coffee. 
<laughs> All right. Griffin, get the hell out of here. Yep. Uh, nice seeing you, he says as he, like, walks backwards, giving you finger guns. <laughs> what sure. a stinky boy. <laughs> what a stinky man. <laughs> what a stinky man. Yeah, um... I did say to an acquaintance the other day that I don't do men anymore, and now I remember why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, but Mark, yeah, if if you need if you need out, you don't have to stay in Vlogos, obviously. But like that's the best way to get out. I get once again point of my my stinky boy in the <laughs> back. <laughs> uh, he'll he'll get up off the off the bar, and he's like, "I am king." Um, <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> And we very much need well-educated people in Vlagos. So you seem very proficient with magic. I'm asking if you would like a job. <laughs> oh, you haven't done that before. Oh, look at, look at this character growth. Oh, so proud of you. We have lots of very tall and strong women. <laughs> I was gonna say that. How dare you! I can I can confirm. I, I have one of those women. Who, who wrote the sales I... pitch for this? <laughs> <laughs> and like, you also like, you see Arot also there as well because you know, making sure he's all right. Look, he's not. There's another one right there. A strong and tall woman. <laughs> Uh, they all come six feet over naturally. Uh, are you, are you all pitching vloggers to me? Yes. <laughs> it's mo it's mostly a safety thing. I mean, I don't think I would. I don't think. I don't think you want to be going around traveling around by yourself. With no. with with with, Madam Extortion Killer. <laughs> right. Over a book, you know. <laughs> and I... if you're, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh no, you go ahead. And if you're concerned about carrying that book around, uh, we could take it to the Adventures Academy here for you. Could Get we it. try burning it? No. Wait, what wait. happens when you burn a curse? Um, not all curses. Bad things. But... <laughs> I assume. <laughs> Like the curse enters the air and you breathe in the curse and it <laughs> spreads. You could out. spread it, or you could you could kill it. You could make it worse. You, you, it's 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 very like question mark. And even then, why would we give it to the Adventurers Academy if it was stolen from Grasso? This place isn't known as Britain, yeah. That's, <laughs> the Adventurers Academy is not also known as the British Museum, yeah. <laughs> Does, does Britain ring a bell to Joanna? <laughs> <laughs> Plain of Britain, disgusting. Um, oh. Give me a society check. It will have to be like 838 or above, though. You know what? I was fucking with you, but I'll fucking roll it. Do yeah, it let's do let's it, see do it. it. Let's fucking do it. Let's oh, see shit. what happens. Wait, wait, what do I need to get? 38 or above. Fuck. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, shit, I got a 32. Aww. I can't get a 38. I cannot be responsible for making Britain canon. <laughs> I <didn't. laughs> but, you know, and Heron will point out, it's like, I'm heading back towards Cressa, and I'm sure I have something I need to talk to Kyrie about. I don't remember. Oh no, the book spread to Heron! No, just don't open the book, okay? Like, don't. I'll put a sign on it so you don't. I mean... Kind of like Grunzite here, we could set it on fire. You are well versed in magic. You should know that kind of shit doesn't always work. It could make it worse or better. I literally just said this. And we also established... That I definitely looked in the book even after studying magic for so long. No. 
Now the only person I trust with this book is Aeroth. Aeroth will just hold her hand out. Yeah, take it. <laughs> Tosses she, it. She will um, pull out a like um, essentially a handkerchief from her from her bag, wrap the book in a handkerchief tightly, um, and then stuff it in the bottom of her bag. Well, uh, one, I hope that I at least demonstrated how powerful enchantments can be. And two, you know, after my initial um, two minutes of crisis about who I am and who I was, uh, I think you all right. Uh, I did kind of make a name for myself here. Uh, not gonna super account for my time at the Academy. That was just so that I can have some income. But I don't know. I'm definitely further than where I started. And you know, the time magic thing can't all be that bad. A little bit of it stuck with me. Gee. Oh shit, you're bit. right. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how to help you on that part. Oh, don't worry. I think now I can use it for myself. Like you also now know time magic as if so welcome to the club. Just a little, she winks. Uh, well, all right. Lagos doesn't sound too bad. You kind of sold me at women. And <laughs> uh, I do owe you all drinks. It is not even noon. It really is. <laughs> I'll take it, a drink at like noon. It, no, no, it is ten in the morning. <laughs> Why don't you stick around and we could have dinner together? Yeah. Yeah. No, I have to mix the alcohol in the coffee. No. And food. No. no. <laughs> I, will, I will time magic you, Marrow. I'll do it. Don't 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 tempt me. They just- they just narrow their eyes and just like, try me. I will, like you listen. Oh? Why should I just step aside? Is that true, Mero? You want us to try you? <laughs> not- not <laughs> us! This is an Australia. <laughs> mm, mm-hmm. Okay, well, well, if Grun and Mero will move out of the way- well, not Mero, sorry, if Grun and Marjorie <laughs> will move out of the way. <laughs> Mero, just fair. remember, I'm old enough to ground you. To be fair, I, I trust Estrella as the only one here to not kill me while doing magic or doing anything. Then I'm going to use a lower level spell. Actually, no, you have fat health. You should be fine. You're just going to yeah, not be fine. <laughs> but but oh. just the side. <laughs> it'll be fine, but not that fine. Yeah, yeah, it'll do damage. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I can do it? Yeah, go for it. I'm curious now. Oh, permission? Cool. Um... I just be on. So it looks like it. What it looks like is I go over, and before I I meet Marrow like face to face, like right beside each other, I just cast my hand out. And if you've ever seen Doctor Strange, where Tilda Swinton pushes Doctor Strange's soul out of his body, um, that's what I'm gonna do to Marrow as I cast cast into time. <laughs> <laughs> so what save is this? Um, you need a fortitude save for sure. Mm -hmm. You can also um, decide okay. to just fail. You could. Oh, also I don't want to fail. fail. I want to win. <laughs> All right. Uh, so fortitude save, right? Fortitude, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do have one more hero point. <laughs> If you want to, I'm not gonna stop you. It is a dirty 30. I'm not sure if that will succeed or not, and I do want to use a hero point because I want to roll higher than an 8, but I also don't trust myself to roll higher than an 8. Tr you know what? Coward. You know, yeah. yeah! We're at the end. Do it. You, you, you can't call me a coward. You, I gotta do it. Yeah, do it, coward. That 20 is a 42. <laughs> okay, then you're fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Success, you only take half damage. But until oh. then, you've get you 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 watch the entire world pass by before you. 
as you witness this chaotic flow of time, you are bashed against objects from different time. And it deals 5d8 mental damage and then uh, 5d6 bludgeoning. Uh, that's a crit success. Is it still half damage? Oh, no, if it's a crit success, you're unaffected. Yeah, I got a nat 20 and I have the path of fortitude, so I'm just like... Oh, you have the, I didn't know oh, you had the path of fortitude. And I just got oh, it didn't now. work this time. Oh, Next time. Most unfortunate. <laughs> still figuring oh. this one out. That's all right. I certainly saw reality flashing before my eyes. It just didn't hurt a lot. Okay. Marjorie casts pass through time. God damn it. Okay. I'm out of hero point, so let's see if the cat girl can do it. Oh. Never mind. I fuck. That's my six. <laughs> God's dead. <laughs> I mean, a couple the, of them are. That's for the record, the dice. For the record, thirty would have would have given you a success off of me. I just wanted to trick you into using your last hero point. No, that's fine. I'll take it. Give me the damage. Uh, <laughs> uh wow. I didn't think I'd be causing this. Uh, it'll be a bit. Um, <laughs> that's fine. I have health. Uh, it's not. What, uh, what was your total? 26. Okay, it's not a crit. Oh. I was gonna say, I think that's regular. I have a plus 22 to fortitude save. This hurt me, like, emotionally. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of damage. I'm just looking at the spell yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, 5d8 <laughs> mental and 5d6 bludgeoning. I'll be fine. <laughs> Rune's here. I'll be fine either way. Mm -hmm. I'll let you do like all uh, of my health okay, remaining so in one hit. I'm the 5d8. Uh, so you take 32 bludgeoning damage. And. Okay. 15 mental damage. Okay, that's oh, not bad. And I think and you're sickened one, right? Because it's yeah, a failure. Yeah, you're also sickened one. So you are. <laughs> as. <laughs> Australia's spell doesn't catch hold of you immediately. It just happens as Marjorie just snaps her fingers and you. I was <laughs> <laughs> standing there like bludgeoned half to death. It's just like, and... yeah, that would hurt. That would yeah. hurt a lot more. Uh, and as you pass through all of these time periods, you see Osheim through the ages, various ages. You see dragons. You see watching as the city sort of grows. Uh, and then you watch as the dragons burn down the city for the first time. And you watch them rebuild it again. Uh, and then you see a few other things. Um, you see your mom there for a second. And you, then you come back to reality. That was slightly traumatizing. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was trying to get it, but I couldn't, you know, hit it when when all of you were there. It's it's fine. It's like you're, yours like softened me up for the second one, you know. And Marcy will just go over to Tamara and just pat them on back and say, "Sorry, it was just too funny to pass up. I actually." I'm quite fond of the cell swords that I've worked with, and you helped me out a lot today. I'll make it up to you later. Oh, thank you. The genuine check. Are you guys gonna fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Is this okay? Out of character, I don't actually know when people flirt with me, and now I'm like, oh god, are you flirting? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a flirt. But can I can I get confirmation with the vibe <laughs> check? My, can I can I roll uh, a vibe yeah. check? The, uh, yeah, you could you could vibe check. My ace ass playing a horny character. Like, okay, I'm a disappointment to society. <laughs> that was very high of me. One second. <laughs> me, my character would know, but I don't. So I'm. Just... Thirty-eight. <laughs> Thirty. <laughs> um, I rolled a nineteen on the die. It was definitely flirty, but you also know that she was lying. <laughs> I look, I look, I look again, and I look again, and, and I look again, and then I remember that it's maybe 10.05 in the morning, and I will proceed to cover the eyes of my child and walk away. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, what, she's buying us drinks later. I you know, la yeah, that's later, that's later, that's, that's later, that's like at least 10 hours later. Gonna shrug like I'm gonna go take a nap and 
try to get rid of this thing. <laughs> Just go, uh, go out behind the inn and throw up. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Here, hold Zal's room. I don't want him to see this. <laughs> Are you feeling sickened? Yeah, I guess you could say that. I can help. I'm gonna, All right. do, I'm gonna do the, uh, the thing from Pokemon Red and Blue. Rub the back. Do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> that's really cute. <laughs> yeah, because I have the ability to do that. And I think it's the DC of the original um, thing that does it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you rolled a 40. Heal me. Yeah, so I'm going to... Ah, there it is. I'll post that because I have advanced first aid so I can heal, uh, reduce frightened or sickened by two. I'm no longer sickened. So I'm just going to look around at the bar and just, you know, I need more coffee. Tell someone you like some coffee. Please. The MILFs are going to go sit down with coffee. <laughs> MILFs take a seat with coffee. Mirror just lie Join on the Join the MILF table. That's where Astrea is at. Joanna will bring Astrea coffee as well. And then hot cocoa for Rosalite. And Heron will also sit at the, at the table with everyone else as well. The MILF table, okay. He'll just sit on at whatever table everyone's sitting at. <laughs> Honorary <laughs> MILF. Yeah, second coffee break. He's a twink at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna and he now him. has two cats, so, you know, and cat, cat cats. dad. Yeah, cat dad. Just get to mug this, just like, ask me about my cat kids, my fur babies. <laughs> I don't think he's actually gotten the cats yet. I have mm. not given, I have not... I sold cats? Late at mm -hmm. night, I still have to sell cats and distribute them, and I have to take Heron later today to go get cats. Where, where are these cats? I feel like I missed that part. They're in like this building. Mm -hmm. Like a bunch of them are in this building. Okay, just out of character. I wanted to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all like, okay, they're all like, it's just like a bunch of uh, stray cats all gathered up in like an abandoned building or something like that. And NPC was living there, and the NPC's like, okay, I'm done, bye. And we're like, oh, but there's like a hundred cats here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell these cats and then force Aubrey to give the party more money. I mean, hey, I don't remember if you all went and uh, bought anything, so you know, you need more, you need money. We have the plan to buy mm. the stuff. We just we have not done anything with the other stuff mm. yet. So it's yeah. like we have not gone to get the shit yet, but we might as well get more money by yeah. selling cats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will math that and let you know before next session. I thought you were bad at math. You know, I'll you make should... a computer do all of that math for me. You know, you should trust me to do the math. I totally won't skew the numbers or anything in our favor. Yeah. No, you don't even know how much each cat is worth. I can Google it. I can Google our time. How much is a cat worth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. Google how much is a cat worth. <laughs> no, no oh. results, please. No, God. I, mm, mm, am I a pimp now because I'm selling pussy? <laughs> this. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna, I was gonna say something, but I'll, I'll be quiet. Uh, Y'all been making these puns all day, and I haven't realized what they meant until now. <laughs> it went completely over my head. Like I'm reading the chat, I'm seeing the words, but I, I didn't allocate it together until now. It's been three hours. <laughs> It's okay. Two, almost three, two. Probably yeah. says something good about you and something bad about us. We're horrible. No, it shouldn't because, like, I I know what it is. It's just today I did not. <laughs> today I did not. Uh, if uh, 
there is a unless anything else needs to happen right now um there is a dinner where Marjorie buys everyone drinks uh um she will go to uh Joanna and say uh I sincerely do hope that you find a way to remember what's going on with you. I know, well, you know that I know what that's like. Um, Joanna, uh, with a warm smile, just thank you. Um, I'm glad that we were able to help you out because it it's at least assuring to know who you were. Well, you'll raise a glass to the rest of the table and say, Well, uh, I guess evidently you'll know where to find me if you ever need to convince anybody of anything. Uh, I will be there for you. That's gay. <laughs> I mean, yes. okay. I mean, yes, but no, no, it's not. I was extending a fa- <laughs> I owe you. I, I know, I know. I'm, I am, I'm joking. I am pulling your tail. It's how she shows her appreciation. Also, I can just ask you to it. I'm still a royal in Vlagos. Okay, I mean, you could play that card. I could, <laughs> yes, I could. I could also, like, you know, wad a bunch of cash in your face and see if that works. Right? Right. I mean, I was going... At least I was going to help you out of the goodness of my itty-bitty pretty kitty heart. Okay, yeah, but, but if I could get you the equivalent of Gucci here, right? You would totally love that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I... Gucci? <laughs> oh, a Gucci. A, a Gucci is a brand, you know? You're saying it with a G. Okay, pardon. <laughs> I, you... <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Uh, I appreciate the offer, Princess Destroyer, but I can get my own Gucci, thank you. forgot about Princess there for a second, I just went, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying... Yeah, that's how we end the session. <laughs> well, Friends. thank you very much. <laughs> 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 right. Great, great, <laughs> great episode of Friends, everybody. <laughs> ah, yes, the one where they dealt with memory loss and beating up people. Uh, so yeah, I will ask really quickly if there's anything, any last things people would like to do before we wrap it up. Um, actually, yeah. Joanna is going to kind of, like, look at Estrella. Um, like, during the dinner, maybe, like, just halfway through, and kind of just, like, not hushed, but mostly, like, directly to Estrella. is like, you know, do we ever check if, like, maybe this memory thing is a curse for me? Do you want to? I mean, if I could know, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just, let me just, let me just look at you. And I guess I'll curse Lord Joanna. Curse floor? Yeah, I mean, um. I mean why not? <laughs> um, I'll use a hero point for this one just because it's low and I, it's it's my last one. And I don't know. I don't want to accidentally be like, oh no, but that's that's definitely a growth, you know? Like, and then it's all, and I just point to her face. That would be rude. 37. I think. Yeah, 37. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, there is a curse on Joanna. How? 
Is it the same? Is it, is it the same one? Same one as the one that was on Marjorie? Yeah. Oh. No. Mm -hmm. Can I tell what kind of curse it is? Like what mm -hmm. its like like potential origin is? Like for example, um, Marjorie's was memory. Mm -hmm. Um, I will turn this over to Dusty. What might be this origin? The origin of this curse. Um. Oh. Oh. Uh. I mean, I don't think. I don't know if you could tell this, but it's definitely not a curse from here on this plane. Um, it's a curse of vengeance. Yes, let's go with that. And you say it's not from here, so it just that means it is from the plane of Mexico, correct? Out of character, yes. Okay, now please, Dusty, tell me what smells like home because there's no way I can just go, oh, it's Mexican! Like, just what the fuck am I, how am I supposed to tell you this? Um, I think to give her the idea of this, it would be the smell of an ocean breeze, but very distinctly not one you would know from the oceans of Cyrene. Um, well, you're cursed, but, um, well, one, it's not from here, at least. So you were, you were cursed beforehand. Does Mexico have magic? Um, I mean, I do not know if um, it's anything like here, possibly, but again, I have very few memories, or if any, from there, at least nothing in my journals. I mean, the offer for, for, for memory delving is, is there if you need it. I can help you with that, but I will straight up say, uh, this, um, this curse is very, um, aggressive. Like it's, like it's vengeance. I think you've pissed someone off. Hmm. Well, if I was anything like I am now, that's not too surprising, I guess. Well, well, that, first and foremost, that's strings on time. Very <laughs> on point. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, da -da, right when you said that, I was like, shit. Um, do I... I don't know what you mean by that. I don't think you're bad, per se. And you certainly have not pissed anyone off uh, here. That I know of, actually. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But, I mean... Petty curses can be a thing. It's true. Um, one of these days I'll have to take you up on the memory, but we can memory also look delving. Into, yeah, we can also look into straight up breaking it and like point to Groon. I want to know more before I mess with that. Good it's call. obviously not affecting me now, so... At least not that I know of. Oh, uh, that's eerie foreshadowing. I, 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 Mira, mm -hmm. I don't know nada. I look. We don't like the gods or anything, but I hear one going hmm in the background. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, gracias, Estrella, for taking the look. No problem. I can look further into it if you want, though. Like, on my own question mark. Just when you don't have as much on your plate. We are dealing with a lot right now. Mm -hmm. I think while this is a very enlightening and deep conversation is happening, Marjorie is just, uh... <laughs> um... 
elbow on the table, um, talking to Tamsin and saying, Okay, so you don't like enchantment magic. What do you like? I don't dislike enchantment. It has its uses. I find it quite useful. I just think that as a specialty, there are so many better choices. Well, it's worked for me. And even if I don't have it, I can be quite persuasive. I just get people to do what I like. That's work for me. It does seem to have worked for you, and I do think that it is quite impressive that you regained, relearned all of this magic in the time that you had lost your memory. Oh, a compliment. Thank you. And your magic is quite impressive as well, if not, um, mildly disturbing. <laughs> I had quite a bit more time than you have to master it. <laughs> I should just, like, think real hard. How old am I? <laughs> <sighs> One loses count precisely, but after the centuries, but around 450, perhaps? Hey, maybe you've got a couple on me. I don't know how long gnomes live, but I will say, uh... Well, I look forward to seeing what you can do, given a bit more time. <laughs> I think gnomes can live for a very long time. As long, yes. as, they, yeah. as, uh, long as they uh, have like in things that interest them. That's true. And just say, well, whenever you visit, I'll show you. Damson sort of nods and will like cheers at her. I'm so sorry. My brain just popped up with, I mean, it's not like women are going extinct anytime soon, so you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, you hear, try me. <laughs> yes. Well, I think that's a good spot to end it on. And I will turn it over to you, Gwen, one more time to tell us who you are and where people can find you on the internet. Well, I'm Gwen, uh, she, her, also known as Glitchy Pixie. Uh, you can find me at glitchy underscore pixie at twitter.com, and you can check out all of the projects that I'm a part of at glitchypixie.com. The latest is uh, Monsters of Marker Chromatic Gamut. I was a writer, designer, illustrator, Ooh. concept artist. Uh, I did a lot of work on that, and the PDF is available right now on Backerkit, so go check it out. Yes, I will have links to all of this lovely stuff in the description for those that are listening, so if you could just jump right on that. Um, and yeah, I guess now it is time for Tick to take us out. Thank you! Uh, for, for the honor of the cat guests, I'm going to be doing this in a cat girl voice. Thank no, you! No! <laughs> no! 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 Do it, coward! No! No! no. Okay. Oh, coward. Okay. No. okay! 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 Point made. Thank you, everyone, for listening to another wonderful episode of Goblins and Gays. As said before, please check out our wonderful guest. She does such amazing work, and quite frankly, her art's also really nice. I'm just scrolling up through the voice context channel to just, like, simp over it. Uh, if you like what we do here in general, feel free to follow us on Twitter at Goblins and Gays. We also have a Patreon where you can support us, get all sorts of extra episodes, and listen to me DM some curse one shots. Uh, give us a good shout out on our various streaming services. Take care, and remember, eat your vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. I hate there this shit. Is. Oh my god. You're welcome, or I'm sorry? No, it's not your fault. It's 100% Tick, who then encouraged Aubrey out of all the people to meow.
Be gay. Roll dice. An LGBTQIA actual play podcast network.